<clears throat> Ooh, it is cold in here. I got my blanket on. It is cold. Oh my gosh, tomorrow is going to be a crazy freaking day. Honestly, it's going to be an insane day. Cool, that's running. And then Twitch. My Twitch running? Yeah, it's running. Cool. Alrighty then. Let's just get into it. Uh, I guess just talk about random things. <laughs> so, first things first is tomorrow. Um, many of you might know that the Dreamlight Valley update is underway. And that's going to be exciting. Definitely going to be playing that. For sure. I am going to be playing that. Um, I'm really excited to play it. I am going to do a stream early, maybe, whenever I wake up, basically. Because I know I wake up past now, past, like, the normal update times. So I am expecting to um, be the same. Not going to look for spoilers. I'm literally going to, like, close my Discord, not open anything up, and just immediately get into the game and just see everything what comes at me first because that's always a really fun experience especially not getting spoiled so that is the plan for um tomorrow i also don't know how long that stream is going to be i do want to make it a longer stream so that's also why i'm starting early and um yeah we're just gonna all experience it at once and that's gonna be super exciting yesterday i didn't stream uh, wasn't feeling well today we're gonna be doing not for broadcast we're gonna try to finish that up because i feel like sunday is the last day and i think we're on sunday now um then we're gonna do some scary games per usual and then we're gonna finish up with uh do not for broadcast which i did not realize that that game was gonna be so long and there's still <laughs> like three dlc that we can uh, knock out but today is going to be fun and tomorrow's gonna be so much fun too i am so excited um Anything else I want to talk about? Not really. This stream did start later. Um, so what the plan is, is that since I started an hour later, I'm going to last. That sounded weird. I'm going to stream an hour later than I usually end it. So hopefully we can get some late night, late nighters. Because I, I miss my Amanda for sure. She's one of them that I miss. Um, she used to stay out late. But that's the plan for today. Um, might as well get into it. Um, but yeah, last time we I was on, I think we played... Oh yeah, I got Roots of Pacha. Roots of Pacha is so much fun. I love the music. I love the, the um, how you tame the animals. But I kind of... Um, I'm trying to figure out, like, can you collect all the animals? Or can you only have, like, a certain amount? I'm not even, like too far into the game. I got it last night. I'm on- not, I think I just finished like one week. So that's a really fun game. Very like Stardew-esque, but discovering, um, what do you say? Like discovering everything for the first time, like creating the wheel. Caveman stuff, you know. So we're gonna do Home Safety Hotline. I love this game. I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. Because <laughs> I've been on a, such a nice roll. We also figured out that on Home Safety the Hotline that Carol is wearing a Glamour necklace. She is. And so she is obviously not a freaking human. She is some other demon thing. Read through the art book. Complete the game with 100% accuracy. And then two more, which I guess is complete our seventh day. I don't want to spoil myself. I usually, like, I'm an achievement hunter, and I usually want to click this, and then go to the global, and then figure it out, but I'll save it. I'll save it. I don't see this game being jump scary, though, so I'm not too, I'm not too nervous about it, but I am excited. This game has been so much fun. Oh, is that a face? Home safety hotline. And then I gotta do that for YouTube as well. Oh, cool. That is working fine. Sweet. Um, Alright, so let's just get into it. 
Last time, like I said, she was crazy. We keep hearing about thys and thous. Thou something is coming out from the ground. Which, whatever that means. Oh, I'm so cold. Okay. Uh, entry browser. Yeah, this is what we got last time. And I don't see anything that's, like, new. Like, I wonder if they actually did hide something in here. We already know wood, wine, fungi, da-da-da-da, trash, ticks, termite. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there's anything here um, that's new. It would be cool, though, if they added, like, a little hint or something. My guess is, like, there's some type of Dorcha or something messed up. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, mailbox. Yeah, this is the coupon for the Glamour Stone. And that's what Carol's wearing. Also, expensive. Glamour and- uh, Oh, that's what it reminds me It reminds me of, um, Wolf Among Us. Cause Wolf Among Us, great game. I should play that game. I have it. I should play that one time. Um, Wolf Among Us. They have some type of Glamour pod. Which allows them to look like somebody else. So I'm assuming it's like, it's kind of like that. But the whole matching fable. And assuming you pass the trial, which whatever that is. The soil is fertile. Whatever that is. <laughs> Keep up the great work. And thanks for going through the weekend. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so I'm assuming it's going to be like the most abnormal day Home safety hotline. Oh, that was weird. Oh, it's gonna be weird. I'm scared already. Is my game too loud? Oh. What? Thy trial hath begun? Oh, we have to figure it out without the stuff? No, not the time where I take days off. No way, I'm screwed. Last time we did this was Saturday. Did we even do this? No, we didn't even do this Saturday. We did this like Friday. Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. Is Carol the queen? We are many. We are above. We are followers of our queen. Oh, you're bees. Oh, you're giving me riddles! Oh, that's so much worse. You're bees. Bees follow their queen. Oh, am I gonna die? I'm gonna die. <gasps> oh my gosh. Showcase thy knowledge. Oh, it's so weird. It's so creepy and weird. It's peaceful. It sounds very peaceful. Showcase thy knowledge? What? Are you gonna call? You're not calling. Oh, here we go. Alright, alright. Oh my gosh. I am not living, yet I clap. Wait. I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please hold. What? I am not living, yet I clatter. I am small, I am weak. You're not living, you clatter? What is, what, what are you clattering? Uh, I'm small. Okay, so you're not the horde. You clatter. That's what's getting me. You clatter. Oh, I'm dead. Is it like if I get it wrong, I'm dead? Ticks? No. What dies? When I'm small, I weak, I serve my purpose, then I die. Wasn't there, like, a couple things that, like, like, infections that, like, if you have them, like, you die? 
I think that's what it is. I'm small, but I weak, yet I clatter. Oh. I serve my purpose and then I die. I don't know. I actually have no idea what this could be. Clatter. Frozen pipes? Frozen pipes don't die, but they don't live either. I am not living, but then you die. That makes no sense! Um... False beat? I'll put false beat! Isn't that one of the ones where it's like, it's like, once eaten? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh no. Forge ahead. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that was right, though. I just had no idea. I serve my purpose. I clatter. And then you die. That's what got like, the clatter and dying. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> that's creepy. I'm a beggar. I'm the beggar. I'm the encroacher of the dry. I am friend to the water, the sky. Are you the rain thing? The rain nymph, maybe? Because water in the sky, then it's not water in the pipe, so rain nymph? I don't remember. I don't even think we read much on the rain nymph. I remember the photo. Oh, this is messed up. Oh, no. Press on, employee. Oh, is that gonna be me? Is that my future? Am I pressing on to my death? I'm, like, trying to remember in my head each time I'm, like, reading these. Reanimation is someone dying, coming back. Portal is, um, someone who wants to go in it. Puka takes your animal. Oh. And the heartbringer of death, I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? Please, you oh. are yourself, actually, because you look awful. Aren't you... Where is it? Where is it? Dorcha. That sounds like Dorcha. Dorcha is like the bringer of death. And it's like you can't do anything about it. You're just... There. You're Dorcha. Oh. Rejoice. Rejoice in what? In what? I don't like this. Uh, Closet Labyrinth. We never got that one before. I hope they don't ask, like, the ones that we haven't gotten. Carbon Monoxide. Black Mold. So, obviously, the Carbon Monoxide was definitely, like, a... Okay, 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 okay. Oh, were these always plants? I seek the domains of those who have too much. Step within and lose their way. Please hold that just sounds like the closet labyrinth. Is that what it is? Step in and lose their way. Someone who has too much. I'm trying to think. Portal wasn't anything about that. Portal was saying boarded up. And then neighbor's doorway. It didn't get them lost. But they didn't. They forget like their life. I'm going with closet labyrinth. Because step in. Step within and they lose their way. In a labyrinth you would get lost in, right? Oh no, I don't like it. What happens if I like lose? Do I get Ooh <gasps> These are the bottoms of the roots. Expand thy mind. Oh, it kinda looks like ginger. That's a weird photo. I don't like it. Carol, please The companions of the garden. We compel those who tread to tread no longer. What are we? We are companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread to Please tread go. no longer. Uh, seedlings? Because seedlings was like... We're companions of the garden. Oh, what about Spriggan? We compel those who tread to tread no longer. Compel. So you make them want to to hurt seedling i think it's seedling though because seedling was like if you mess with their i don't know what tread means to be honest <laughs> what is tread 
Um, shoot. Okay, so I'm assuming tread is like walk over. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Cause seedling was like, if you take away my weeds, I'm going to kill you. So I'm gonna go with seedling? That's also another one that we haven't done. Are they choosing the ones that we haven't done? Is that is that their game plan? Oh no. Okay. Oh let go thy stilted soul. Are you Is this the Dorcha? My I wanna keep my soul. I like it. I'm good. Hello? I mean like the spriggin the spriggin it, they would touch you and they would kill you. But what did they Oh the sprig wait, was the spriggin the one that was like don't um don't eat fruits outside? Oh maybe it was a spriggin. Okay, okay, okay. Oh you're a mole. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? You're a mole first. <laughs> Can I just call you a mole? I am a I am the dancer. I'm the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. What? The weak and the... Oh, that music is so weird! I don't know! I consume the weak and the reckless. What's the weak? Who's the reckless? Consume, consume, consume. What could- what eight? Let, let's- let's go off of eating. Unless they're not- like, this is so ri riddles. I'm not- I'm not into riddles. Mmm. I don't remember anything eating anyone. Consuming the weak. I am the dancer. I'm the bringer of destruction. A bringer of destruction was a bog art. In the weak and the reckless. I'm gonna go with Bogart because he did bring a lot of destruction. I don't know. I don't know. I'm dead. Ooh. Descend. <gasps> Descend into the soil. Ooh. I'm gonna become dirt. I don't bring uh, these riddles are. I. Nope. <laughs> this is not the Sunday I was looking forward to. Oh, okay. Please. Whoa. I'm the seeker. I'm the one who delivers. Are you the Dorcha? Because the Dorcha is the one who delivers, right? Please hold. Mm, I think this one was the Dorcha. Oh, that means I messed up on the other one. I don't know. One of them has to be the Dorcha. Because it didn't say that the Dorcha delivers. I should have studied up. Oh. Why did it not change photos? <gasps> there she is. There's it working. What? Promotion in progress. Oh, Carol! Carol, I don't need to be promoted. It's fine. It's fine, Carol. I'm fine. I like my job. What? Carol! Oh me, oh my, Carol. I didn't realize we are going to get so personal. Is that my crown? I got a crown. It's a hat. It's a crown. <gasps> Hi, Carol. <gasps> You're me. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank 
you so much. Are you okay? This was such a great freaking game. Primate. <laughs> hey, Kiri Monks. That's so freaking good. This game was so good. Oh, that's so funny. So what happens if I fail? Like, how, how well did I do? Did I do good at all? Hold on, I'm gonna look up the answers. I have them pulled up somewhere. So let's see. Um, probably not gonna remember it fully, but I can at least try. Oh! Um... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ah, okay. So riddle one was, we are many, we are above, uh, we are the followers of our queen. What are we? Bees. I was right. Riddle two, I am not living, yet I clatter. I'm small, I am weak, I serve my purpose, and I die. What am I? Animation, because we never did an animation. I never read up on it. I uh, Riddle three, I am the beggar, I am the encroacher of the dry, I am friend to the water of the sky. What am I? Rain nymph. That's what I was, that's what I chose. I am the harbinger of death. I am the bringer of pestilence. I am forever the nuisance. What am I? That was housefly. That is also one that we never did. So, we never actually got- it looks like these are all answers of ones that I never did. Yep. Cause bees we never did. Animation we never did. Rain nymph we never did. Housefly we never did. So these were like hidden ones. Uh, riddle five, I seek the domains of those who have too much, step within, and lose their way. What am I? Closet labyrinth. We got that one right. Riddle six, we are the companions of the gardens. We compel those who tread no longer. What are we? Seedling. We got that one. Riddle seven, I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am for the forsaken oil and the careless light. What am I? That was house fires. I don't- I would not be able to get that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I would not be able to do that. And then the last one was, I am the seeker. I am the one who delivers. What am I? Dorcha. So these were literally just all ones that we just never read on. So what happens now? Does it restart us? Oh. Nice wallpaper. Look at that. So what is this? Unemployment immunity. Always display accuracy options that allow for post descent manipulations. Available after promotion. Oh, so I guess there's like an endless mode. Oh, if there is an endless mode, that's so much fun. Mm. Display accuracy would be fun. Add button to skip call wait time. Hmm. And then art book. Oh, hi, I'm Nick Lives. The creator of Home Safety Hotline. If you're here reading this, it hopefully means that you're invested enough in this game to be curious about its development. If so, you've come to the right place. This is a peek into the game's art development process and all the human's messiness that entails. I hope you enjoy this thorough and <laughs> admittedly indulgent look into what we went into making Home Safety Hotline the game it is now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that art. When I was uh, maybe 10 or 12 years old, my grandmother gifted me a Dungeons & Dragons monster manual she picked up from the thrift store. That's what this is. Immediately, I fell in love with this book. Despite having no idea what its purpose was, I would sour its pages con oh, scour its pages constantly, learning everything I could about its many, many imaginative creatures. Since I started developing games, I very much wanted to make a game about the pure joy I experienced flipping through the bestiary Many games have featured in game B series. 
but really it is is it important to actually read through them in much detail see that's cool and like it was kind of obvious that they were doing certain fables like the leprechaun and the trolls and all that whoa my first attempt at crafting a game based around my love for b-series was a game aptly tilted was a game aptly tilted b-series Fantasy game which you would play as researchers testing the dead bodies of monster corp corpses with various magical implements in an attempt to write an accurate bestiary entry for them, noting properties as you went. Wait, can we actually play this though? Like, is this... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see if this is actually a game that we can actually, like, get into and play. What is it called again? Um... A game aptly... I don't know if that's its name, but I'm just gonna... Mm. I don't think so. Well, does he say what the game name is? No! I wanna play it! That looks so freaking cool! This prototype never really- Oh, there it goes. This prototype never really made it past the conceptual stage with these concept art pieces and crude interactable UI being as far as I took it. I wasn't fully happy with this direction, as it was rather art heavy. It seemed too generic, and it felt like the activity. The little it felt a little like the activity that inspired it. Oh, but it looks cool! If you ever release it, I would play it. <laughs> Whoa! Skip ahead while my while and my wife and I wind up both getting jobs as actors at a local fantasy theme park called Evermore Park, in which she played a playful fairy and I voiced the puppeteered. This big, I voice and puppeteered this big monster called the Fae King. The park gave a lot of improvisational freedom to its actors, and my wife and I both wound up really stretching some creative muscles while we were there. Every day, we'd be crafting up stories on the spot for guests and impro improvising scenes with other actors. Eventually, many of the actors quit or were let go, but the park left a substantial creative void within many of the people who worked there myself included. As time went on, I sorely missed performing and improvising with the other actors and the constant but rewarding creative challenge of tail weaving and lore crafting on the fly. This is 30 pages? This is crazy. During the pandemic, as things felt increasingly dire and lonely, I wrote up a new design document entitled 1-800 Bestiary, a game about answering calls for a hotline that prescribes solutions to various kinds of monster infestations. The hope was, with the collar angle, I'd be able to wrangle a bunch of actor friends into this fun and quick project, and maybe we'd all get a chance to recreate some of that creative spark. And I'd finally get to scratch my childhood bestiary itch. Alas, other priorities came up with other projects I was developing, so 1-800 Bestiary remained on the back burner for another three years. Wow. Oh, wow. This is insane. Oh, I guess this is the prototype? Yeah! That's so cool. Wait, hold on, we missed out on tube creatures? And mind worms? How come we didn't get those? Oh. Uh, the B-Siri entries increasingly felt like they needed to be more personal, to be scary, so I decided the monsters should all be things that live in your house. Out of curiosity, I asked my wife one day if she knew any folklore about monsters that live in your house. The answer was goblins. Oh, hell yes, now we're talking. I excitedly grabbed one of my sketchbooks so I could doodle up some weird gobo <laughs> gobos and the new, more fitting title idea. That's cool. And there it is. The first hob photo. Oh, so they did it out of Photoshop. That's really cool. And I love this hand-drawn art. I love it. Whoa, that's creepy. When drawing monsters, frequently I would find myself having to paint the entire monster in order to get certain poses that I felt that feel accurate before erasing parts of them later to hide them behind some furniture. Oh, that must suck though. Oh, this one's creepy. I hate this one. I hate this one so much. No. Yep, that's the attic. No, that's a night gnome. I like it. See, this one was Oh, I see it now. That's her eye. That's her other eye. This is like her little flower crown. So that's what the spriggan looked like. Spriggan by far may be the hardest creature to spot. Yeah. They're all throughout development. I've asked playtesters to try and find the Spriggan. No one has found the Spriggan. I could consider this a failure on my part as a designer 
but instead left it as is in the final product. Make this what you will. No, that's good. For it, because they, the collar doesn't even see the spriggan. The collar just says the trees are moving. So for us to not see the spriggan too, I mean, like, I think that's a really good idea. Oh, that's the troll. <laughs> for your viewing pleasure. I hate it. No, I hate it so much. I hate it so much. It makes my heart drop. Why does it look like that? The bogger is maybe the most traditionally spooky creature I've designed for HSH with his uncanny human-like face and long slender figure. I hate it. I hate it. All right, covering it. After reading into bogger lore and finding out uh, they are sort of the forefathers of our modern-day boogeyman, it seemed only fitting to make the bogger more traditionally ghoulish. Oh, I hate it. It's so creepy. And that looks like a face behind him. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Shake it off. All right. Trash gnome is adorable. So it's Oscar the Grouch, but worse. That's so cute. Self-writing entries. Oh. Hidden in plain sight. What was this one? Oh, this is the laundry gnome. Oh. I did not see the laundry gnome. Design for sprites was intended to be a mix between mosquitoes and a more traditional fairy. Yeah, the sprites are cool. Oh, I see it. It's its eyes, and that's its nose, and that's its arm, arm, leg, leg. Ah, this one I hate. Warlock Remnant is, in fact, an edited photograph of me wearing a Halloween mask from my childhood, along with a cheap vampire costume I had. <laughs> that's actually really cool. It's really clever, too. Um, Concept of Coupons came out about after I received feedback from demo players asking for more motivation for playing the game as well. Since playing the game poorly would net you more, in since playing the game poorly would let would net you more interesting content in the form of the consequence calls. I thought that pointless employee discounts for products offered by HSH would make up for funny yet lore heavy content for high scoring incentives and based uh, the look of the product images off of ninety infomercial ads. I love this. Whoa, that's cool too. See, this is creepy. Uh, the riddle me's originally the player received their promotion at the end of their shift on Saturday, but it felt a bit too abrupt to go from an otherwise normal workday to the game's fantastical ending in the span of a single call. Yeah. After a bit of brainstorming, we wound up coming up with a dedicated final trial day where you would be called by cryptic cloak callers testing your knowledge with riddles, all without having access to your database information. Yeah, that was intense, but that was so fun. And then this is like the scenes, I guess, for acting. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, the crown, the promotion crown. The promotion crown was a unique prop I hot glued together out of various craft store materials, including a small wreath, little curvy sticks, and fake mushrooms. That's so clever, though. Like, that just shows that you don't even need that much money to, like, invest in a game like this to be so well this game was so creative and so good given the players only getting their first promotion the materials involved are all more crude and common than the more lavish crown that the fae carol wears. so carol was a fae oh there's carol <laughs> in addition to playing the role of carol courtney also designed the final makeup and costume look for fae carol in the game's ending Cutscene depicting Carol in her truer, more ancient form. In Courtney's own words, I want to look like a proper swamp witch. <laughs> I love that. She looks so freaking cute! Faye Carol's costume was also pieced together by Courtney herself, utilize, utilizing stressed netting, faux moss, and, stretch, str and a stressed geez, black skirt. And finally topping it all off with a crown fashioned from faux twigs and leaves. That's so cool. Oh, this game is so fun. I hate that it's it. So I guess the weekly report. Ah, oh, here we go. And it tells you, yeah, I messed up two, two, and then 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, yeah, oh, above 50. All right, above 50%. I could be happy with that. That's awesome. This game was so much fun. Oh my gosh. If there was like ch daily challenge modes or something, I feel like that would be so cool. Oh, this game was great. <laughs> I loved it so much. All right. That's awesome. So what is, what is that achievement? I wonder. Now that I beat the game. 
part ways with home safety hotline. Oh, getting fired. Oh, okay. So I didn't miss much then. So I just didn't complete it nor get fired. That's not too bad. But that was a bit. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, man, I didn't think that was it was going to be so short. So, let's do oh, Let's let's do the painstakingly <laughs> wheel of scares. Uh, what did we do last time? I mean, last games that we got were pretty good, which makes me a little nervous for what I'm going to get this time. We're just going to see. Oh, we did discover my body. So if we get that one, I'll just knock it out. Do I want to do spookware again? Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take out the spookwares, actually. I'm going to take out discover my bodies and spookwares. Spookwares were good. But I'm going to lose my mind if I do them. And I'm not really in the mood to absolutely go berserk. Oh, this one's creepy. Oh, this one's creepy. Oh, no. Silk bulb test. Um, I hate that I missed the ending. I'm going to have to see it on the VOD. It was so good, Medusa. It was way different than I thought it was going to be. And it was funny. But you're going to love it. I promise. Also, hi. Welcome in. Um, this is going to be the silk bob test uh, just by the look of the cover. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I going to be able to handle this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? It's so creepy. Oh, okay. Okay. I want to read about it. Oh, you know what? Let's see the trailer. I hate it. Oh, I hate it. No, oh, this is going to be awful. Okay, you're late. We're about to start without you. Through that elevator on your left, please. And then down the hallway. Don't lollygag. We're behind enough as is. If the elevator stops under no circumstance, should you exit before reaching the correct floor? Repeat that to me, please, so I know you understood it. Okay, thank you. When you get here, take a seat at the center of the table. The test will begin shortly. Do not speak to the other participants. Do not take any photographs. Do not write down your memories of it. Do not look directly into the slide projector. Um, what? No, it's a slide projector. It won't do any damage, but you won't be able to see, and we need you to see. If the test ends prematurely, do be a deer and try again. Sometimes all you need is a fresh mind to a problem and get it different. Oh, this is awful. Okay, so what? Oh, it's a demo. Oh, it's unfinished? It says I'm finished. Oh, on Steam. Is it? Oh, is it? How is it on Steam? What the frick? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This is way different! What? The actual crap is going on here. That is... Oh! <laughs> that is disgustingly creepy. I need it. What is this video then? Same thing. Why does it look like that? Hey, cooperative. Maybe I should get Cory in here. Oh gosh, no. I'm going to pee my pants. That's what's going to happen today. I I mean, I'm a believably scary and terrifying game. Good gosh, no please. Uh horrors that put you in a interrogation vi environment. Quite the creepy test you created here. Come on, anyone got some good, like, you know, like, spoilers? Okay. Alright, 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 alright. <sighs> alright, 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 alright. This is looking awful. This is looking awful. I don't want to try it, but okay. I gotta make sure it doesn't... Test demo. So, like, what's the difference between this one? Please don't. Oh, 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 I hate it. <laughs> okay, there's no running. 
so I shouldn't be that scared, right? That's what it means, all right? There's no, there's no running. Uh, do I want strobe on? Let's turn strobe off. Just, you know, just for in case for anyone out there. Okay, let's max that resolution out, baby. Oh my gosh, I hate this already. Oh! <laughs> Legal. Oh. You know, you gotta have that. Give up. Oh! Shoot, what did I do? I meant to hit start. Oh! Oh, heck no! No, 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 no! You prefer the color red. Oh, I hate this! True! Uh, wait, compared to what? I like purple more! <laughs> you press B, you hate red. B- What? B is false? Oh, calibration key. Ba 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 What's that music? What's that music? Please, what's that music? That music is awful! Okay. This is an image of a door. False. This is an image of a door. You're lying to me! Why do you keep saying door? Something's gonna appear in front of me, bro. Ooh. Uh, what is that? That's a creature. Hold on, is my game running like absolute- Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is my fr- are my frames dropping? Cause on my- are we- are we good? I know, I'll just restart the test, but it's fine. But like, are we- Cause it's looking like it's fro- it's- it's freezing up for me. I don't wanna- I don't want this to be bad. Um, is there a way I could turn off this setting? Maybe this is causing it, like this- Subsurface scattering? What's that? Off. What does that do? By the subsurface scattering is after. What does that mean? Game is fine, but the face cam is lagging. See, like, oh. Okay, I'm gonna lower this. I don't need it to be the best, just in case it's causing issues. We're gonna put this. Window it. Alright, give me a second. I'm working my magic over here because I saw the camera was messing up how does we're not seeing anything why did that why are we in black does that not work oh is this nope that's not it <laughs> uh properties okay so that's not gonna work at all so we need to do full screen maybe just regular full screen maybe that'll help how's my why does it look like that now? How does that that look? I'm like waving my hand to see. Why is my camera lagging? I think it's because of this stupid like this stupid little VHS looking thing. Mm. Let's see. Let's turn this off. The filter is causing bitrate issues. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I can't... Let's turn motion blur off. Why do I need view distance? Uh... Are you talking about the anisotropic feeling? I'll put that on low. Oh, okay, you're not talking about that. Well, I'll, I'll put that back on medium. We're just gonna... Yeah, I can't freaking turn off this stupid VHS look. So, I don't know. We're gonna try again. Reset test. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, it like just. Oh man, it kills the camera. Why does it kill the camera so bad? What if I turn off this? That, oh, now you're seeing double me. Is that help at all? 
No, it does not. Why does this game run like at why is this game taking up everything of mine? Um, let me see if I can turn on let me see what the Steam version's like. Maybe the Steam version is better. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. Um I'll do that real quick. And get this get the Steam one going. Maybe that will be better. Uh, maybe more optimized. Because they said they stopped working on the one. Gosh, this one just looks so much worse. It looks so much worse. Yeah, I'll give it a shot one more time on here. And if it doesn't run, then um, then we'll just move on. Shouldn't take that long to download. I wonder why. It just probably isn't just optimized for streaming, maybe. But people made videos on it. I wonder if the... Hmm. Warning, very small percentage of people may experience seizures when exposed to certain visual images. Uh, Silk Web Test has certain sections with intense flashing lights. Ooh! Okay. <laughs> sure it does! Shit. Oh, look at that last update! Watch me play a demo and develop the game, but this time I mean business. Freak off. Okay. Let's see. Does that help if it doesn't help then i'm gonna cry about it later why does it keep doing that okay all right uh oh oh how we looking how i feel like it's 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 booty it's booty right it, I feel like it's super, like, the camera looks, like, the game looks so good. What do you think, guys? Should I, should I try it? Oh, don't, it says don't look at the projector. Should I try or should I move on? Camera is mid. I don't get why. Just try it? Okay. Alright. Uh, you prefer the color red. I guess true. Hey, look at that. You pressed A. As A as you, A as true, you love red. Sure I do. Calibrate. Oh, this one's different. This is B-A-B-B-A. B-A-B-B. Why did it get like red? How many A's do I have to press? I'm sorry. I hate this music! I hate this music! Door! Uh, it's not a door! <laughs> this is not a door! It's not a door! This is a door! Okay. What is that? Demon! It's coming after me, I know it. What is that? It's a lady on the ground. Oh! <gasps> Don't whisper in my ear. Don't. Don't do that. Don't whisper in my ear. It's a lady bent over. She. I'm. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, she's back on the ground. She's gonna crawl towards me. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not looking. Why is she like that? Please. What do I hit? What do I hit? I can't hit anything. What? I'm so. What's going on? She's just falling. Do I look? What? What? Today was special. What? What? What was so special about it? True. This is the image of a clock. You're lying. Okay. This is the image of a clock. You're lying again. Cute animals, though. This is a clock. This is a clock. <laughs> I hate it. That's not a telephone. That's a man. That's a telephone. This is an image of a telephone. You're lying. 
Quit lying to me. That's not a phone. This is a person. You're right about that one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's not a person. Though I treat them like they are. That's a car. I am so like... Ooh, I need to relax. I am so shriveled up. I can't. I can't. I can't operate like that. Oh, shoo. Hello? Oh my gosh. I'm so... Yeah? Who is it? Oh, that's a big... You're big! You got lots of... Oh, you're a spider. That's what you are. You're a spider. Ah! There's something behind me. <gasps> oh, what's happening? Oh, I'm moving. Calibration. We're just calibrating. We're just calibrating. We're just calibrating. Let's just calibrate. We're calibrating. Ah! Ah! Oh, I got pushed. Let's go. That's true. My score is that. Yeah, friend. What the freak? That's not a friend. That's not my friend. That's not my friend. That's not my friend. That's not my friend. What is that? Please get out of my ear. Please. Please. That's, uh, that is a stranger. I don't know him. Get out of my ear. Please. That's a stranger too. I don't know him. Stop whispering. These are strangers. Stranger danger, dude. Please get out of my ear. These are, these are all strangers. Do not trust them. Participant is a poor judge of character. How dare you? I don't know them. You ate breakfast this morning. No. You often skip breakfast. Yeah. I am. That. I, I do. I do. Breakfast is overrated. It's not. It's actually really important. You fear... You fear making the incorrect choice. Okay, anyone does at this point. Gosh, I don't want to die. You fear failure. Uh, sure. Why not? Don't we all? You fear being alone. This is wrong. There is safety in being alone. Not really. I don't fear it, but there's no safety in it. You feel guilty when you're alone. Why would I feel guilty? It's my choice. Then why are you here? You think- you, I don't know! This is a great answer! I don't know! You feel alone in a crowd. No, I feel crowded in a crowd. Time will wash you away. Uh, not really, for sure. You are a liar. Well, you don't even give me a choice, so sure. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> oh, ah. How many ass do I have to? <gasps> Hello. What do I do with this? What? Calibration. Ah. No, I'm going to hate this. I did it. There's someone behind me. There's... Oh, where's my ball? Please, please. Oh my gosh, it's so slow. For the love of everything nice. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to kill him. I thought we were giving a little smooth. Oh, there's something right there. There's something right freaking there. There's something right there. Please. Please stop. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What the frick is that? It's fine. It's fine. I gotta calibrate. It's fine. I gotta calibrate. I gotta calibrate. Holy shoot. Okay. Oh, uh, what? What am I supposed to do? Oh, I'm all the way up there. I'm all the way up there. Okay, 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 okay. Here. Ooh. Ooh. This is this is freaking terrifying. Okay. 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 
I think I got this. I think I got this. So don't look down. There's something next to me. What do I do? What is that? Oh, that's a face. That's a face. So how do I look? No. What do I do? Triple A. One. Two. Three. One. Uh -huh. Siri, no! Siri just... I didn't get that. Siri, shut up! Please, Siri, please! Oh, what the actual freak is this? What? The applicant chance to counter an error. Please check vitals to quit. Wait, press control to gain composure. Press insert to join a conversation and slowly realize that no one's listening to when you speak. <laughs> press N to leave the conversation. Control! Me. Oh, is that it? What? Ooh. Ooh, what? What's creepy? I don't want to touch. Ooh, excuse me. Wake up. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where's the phone? Where's the freaking phone? Frick, please, please, this gives me so much anxiety. Please. Why am I- why is my head so close to the roof? Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, that's a body! Hello! Good morning! Today was special. Yeah! Yeah, today was special. I'm sweating! Today was so special. Calibration complete. Participant completed. Oh, I did it. Oh, this game actually made my heart race. Tim Oxton, you are one messed up developer, dude. Oh, this was so creepy. These were li this is like if I showed you what my nightmares were like as a kid. Because this is what it... Oh, these are all the things that creep me out. The freaking eyes. They There was no speed. That's the one thing that I missed. And it would literally hit everything I'm afraid of. Oh my gosh. My freaking... My heart. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> that was awful. That was so scary. I, I, that was so good though too, no? Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. What a crazy, insane freaking game. All right. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We survived. <laughs> Give up. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to look. There's achievements, obviously. So this wasn't a thing, I guess. Thank God. I was so worried about something like this. Maybe that was what was behind me. No? Like, what if I turned around? Absolutely really good for how minimal it was. Right? And that's just a demo. <gasps> Should I play that game when it comes out? I'll actually, like, pee my pants. Silk web test. Is that... It? Oh, I'm missing achievements? I'm missing four? What am I missing? Oh, Okay. Hates the color red, loves the color red. Participant does not understand <laughs> doors. What? Oh, so like, you just say yes, no, yes, and this is all about answers. Participant answered honestly. Oh, okay. Participant is persistent. Oh. That was super creepy. Is there any creepy screenshots, I wonder? Anyone take some nice, nice sick screenshots? That's something that I always... 
Oh, never mind. That's something that I always love looking at is, like, screenshots that people have taken. Because some people take gnarly screenshots. Whoo! But that was, that was freaking fun. Um, fun, I say. That was terrifying. I hated every second of it. Silk bub test. Jeez. Okay. Dude, that is insane. Alright, let's see what else we got. Point click killer is something I really want to do. Incoherence? I genuinely don't remember this game. Huh. Also, I forgot. A blink. Make it look nice and pretty. I don't remember what incoherence is. I'm assuming that is... In my itch? In my library? Incoherence, incoherence, incoherence. Gosh, all of these. This was a good game, too. Discover My Body was pretty good. Closing Out 2 was really fun. Um, oh, here we go. Dark Story of Two Sisters. Warning, the following features adult themes, violence, indication of self-harm, acts of suicide, and vague nudity. Player discretion is advised. Let's, look, let's take a little peeky. Mmm. We love low poly. We do, for horror games. Oh, this is awful. No, we have to go through abandoned stuff. Is there gonna be monsters? Oh, no. Oh, that's worse. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Alright, uh, Incoherence is an emotionally charged narrative-driven game that follows Kate, a resilient protagonist, grappling with the loss of her beloved sister. The gameplay combines exploration, interaction with the world, and dialogue to immerse players in Kate's nightmare of, guilty and, of guilt and desperation. This game only has one ending, includes 8 to 10 minutes of gameplay, thank you. Um, some jump scares and loud noises. Playing in the dark with headphones is recommended. Well, I got the lights on, so you're not going to catch that. Oh, John scary. Yay. Dev note. The project was made in two weeks. Wow. Potentially wanted to sell the game, but because of lack of intuitive mechanics, decided to make it available for free. Thank you so much for everyone's support. If you have any suggestions, cool. Edit. I just found out about... Okay. Cool. Mmm. Creepy atmosphere story and jump scares were great. Even though I missed one of them? How do you miss a jump scare? Frick! I hate jump scares. I hate jump scares so much. Arr, I hate it. Arr, arr, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. Okay. Incoherence. Yeah! I'm ready. These jump scares. She's dead. She's fucking dead. Yep. Mona Lisa? No, that's not Mona Lisa. El painting? Whoa! Oh, I thought we were naked for a second. Whoa! Man! We dress nice. What are we in a hotel? I need to get dressed. Okay. What's this? Prescribed drugs. I'd rather smoke. My therapist has no code yet. This painting calms me down. I don't know how that painting can calm down having a woman just stare at you. Nothing on the TV right now. Ah, it is a hotel. No need for the keys yet. Okay. Now we wait for the call. So what's that door? What? Which? What's the exit? This the this is not the exit for sure. Unless it is locked. Where's my potty? I got a tinkle from the last game. That doesn't even say. Not important. Rather not. Do I go back to my phone? <gasps> ah! El Therapist! Yes, Dr. Calkins. I'm on my way. Help is on the way, dear. Let's get El Keys. And let's get. This was the exit. Is this my sister? Sister! That has to be my sister that passed away. He has to be, you know? Also, why is this so... 
Hey. Hey. Amanda! <laughs> Amanda, I miss you! <laughs> Amanda, I was literally wondering. I was like, as I, I, I mentioned you earlier. That's what I said. I said, since I'm starting an hour later, I'm hoping that Amanda would pop in. Amanda, it's been so long! Oh, creepy guy! Hello! Wait, I can't go this way either? Uh, what? Did I forget something? Uh... Did I... Was I supposed to take my drugs with me? Who was that? Was I supposed to... What? What's going on? Why am I stuck? I'm so confused. Crouch. Shift. Three. Okay. Uh, am I supposed to be stuck or am I supposed to be walking back and forth? Dude, that guy looks so creepy. He looks like the Slenderman from the from like afar. Do I take some water? Bro, can you help me? I'm a mime in a box. Help. Why? Why? Okay, let's go through all the doors. Oh, maybe the therapist is like Oh. Why are you in the hotel? Thanks a lot for visiting me in the hotel. I understand this might be not your usual practice, but I really need to talk. Ah. Oh. I'm glad you decided to do this again. Considering your position with tragic circumstances, I was more than willing to help. Can you tell me, once again, why did you decide to move from your apartment and pay a great deal of money for this hotel? After what happened to my sister, I was unable to stay there. Every night, I had the same nightmare about her. It was torture for me. I was lucky enough to get some money from my employer, at least for now. I do not have to worry about paying the rent, and I can enjoy a hotel pizza. Kate, this is not healthy. You have to face the issue right up front. You cannot live in this hotel forever. You talked about the nightmares. Can you describe them to me? Oh yeah, we're going through some nightmares! They are very real at times, but usually, when I wake up, the nightmare does not end. I have to I have this deep feeling, more like a voice telling me to do something. What does that voice tell you to do exactly, Kate? It is very important to say it out loud to ensure that it is not real. The voice tells me to... To kill someone. To kill? Who? Does the voice specify a person? A name? Is it somehow connected to your sister's suicide, Kate? I need you to focus on this. I don't know. It just tells me to kill. I see my sister and she's so real. But there's something off about her. Something sinister in her voice. I don't know, man. Kate, does your sister tell you to kill someone? Do you see her? Do you see her, your sister in this room? Right now? <gasps> what the freak? Oh! Just pet the hat. Pet the hat and everything will be fine. Okay. Kate. 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 I am sorry. I, I am sorry. My head hurts. The medication is not helping at all. And I don't know what to do. I fracking don't know how to get her out of my head. <sighs> Kate, I need you to stay alert at all times. I will prescribe something for the headache. We will meet again in three days. All right? there's an emergency, please call me. Alright, alright. I'll try to do the meditation technique you told me about. Thanks again for the talk. It means more to me than you can imagine. Looking forward to the next visit. Bye! Peace! See ya! Demon! Uh, I should go to my room. <laughs> Why is everything gotta have an old lady in it? Old lady, you need help! You like the painting, old lady? Okay, enjoy your painting. Okay, bye. <laughs> what are you? Oh, that's a demon. Demon sister. Eh? What is that on the table? What's that on my bed? You mean bed? Oh, that's my clothes. Table. Dear. 
Miss Anderson, we hope this letter finds you well, and I want to extend our appreciation for choosing a Velvet Vista Hotel for your recent stay. Unfortunately, it has come to our attention that there are some issues that require immediate attention. We have received multiple complaints from other guests and our staff regarding loud banging noises and unpleasant odor originating from your room. What? To ensure the comfort and tranquility of all of our guests, we kindly request that you please adhere to the hotel's noise policy and be mindful of your noise level. If there is a specific issue or concern that requires our attention, please do not hesitate in con to contact our front desk. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation in this matter. We look forward to the remainder of your stay at our hotel. Sincerely, Velvet Vista Hotel Manager, RMB to cancel. Whatever. I should put those clothes in the closet. Okay. My box. It's gonna be something in there. Lock it. Oh, that's not the closet. Duh. We don't- we're in a hotel. We're not in, like, a grand mansion. I'm tired. I should lay down. So is that, like, one of- the one out of two jump scares? Cause I kind- Who is knocking? Can't they leave me alone? <sighs> Who- Oh, the towels. Who is it? Who is, who's knocking? Excuse me, hello? Oh, frick. What the frack? I should close that. Dude! Dude! It's gonna be, okay, okay. Be brave, be brave, be brave, be brave. I'm brave! <gasps> frack, the lights. I should get my phone. Dude, why is my sister Oh, is that the similar painting? Lockhead. Is that my feet? Why do I sound like a Lego? That's a similar painting, right? Oh my gosh, my heart is thumping. My heart is thumping. Okay, all right, what do we got? We got nice hotel, some, some pills, some um, pills. Why the frack did I even come here? This hospital is rotten. I wish my sister was here. As usual, she has too many fracking problems to deal with. Like me, a drug addict who is trying to break free from all this. RB to cancel. Is that sister's notes? Maybe sister was a drug drug user? Okay. Alright. Alright. Lockhead. What is that? Is that is that what you call modern art? It looks awful. Lockhead. Computer on the floor. Why? Oh. What is that? What is that? Can we not with the noises? Every day is the same loop. I go to this hospital, get some medication, try to be better, a better self. Yeah, what's the point? Sister doesn't even give a crap oh, about me anyways. I might die tomorrow and she won't remember me. This is definitely the sister then. She would remember! Never look behind you. That is something I'm never going to do. Nasty bucket. <gasps> oh, I hate it. I hate the static noise. Everything about this is awful. Lock. The computer's locked, too. Wait. Wait, did I miss the note? Wait, where's the note? I didn't see the note. Did I miss it? Is a note in here? Oh, it's right here. My medical history is pretty short. Nothing of value in broken things. But maybe if my sister is interested, maybe if she can pick up the phone and at least once be curious, all I can do is hope for the best. Bull crap of phrase. R&B to cancel. <sighs> Man, it was... Dude. What? 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 Oh, shoot. Did I miss something? Nothing here. I should search the rest. Oh, I didn't realize I had to search these. Nothing here to search the rest. What is this? Hey, there it is. This blank year old patient presents uh presence for wait, what? Presents for of alcohol and cannabis withdrawal. Uh history was obtained from the patient. 
Chief complaint, I want rehab. I have been using general history circumstances. Patient is a single blank year old, a double A woman battery with bipolar disorder, alcohol, and cannabis abuse, other blank dependents who is admitted in with symptoms of depression, including CAH, of voices telling her to hurt herself. She has done outpatient programs and wants to change her life this time. Referral papers reviewed, discharge summary, discharge instructions. Why is she discharged? Wait a minute. Why is she being discharged? She obviously needs more. Oh, is it because of the outpatient stuff? Well, did you guys at least double check to make sure the outpatient stuff was secure? No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. The answer is no! I don't want to! Sister, sister, sister! Sister! My sister! My sister, please! Oh, she's gone. Okay, okay. I am suffering right now. Okay. That's why the pain calms her, maybe. Okay, computer's on. Can I mess with it? No. Okay. Oh, is my heart beating? What? Is that the computer? I can't do anything with it. What's making that noise? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Alright, lock in. Alright, alright. Battery died. Woo! Better not be no jump scares. I'm, I'm dead serious, sissy. I'm dead serious about this. Oh, she's there. Oh, she's there. Oh, sissy's there. Okay. Do you feel it now? Do you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Do you feel guilty, Mr. Krabs? You selfish dog! You abandoned me when I needed you! You made a promise. You said you were always going to be with me. Go back! Go back and end this! Sister? Sister, sister, go back. Got it. Going back. Going back. I'm going back. I'm gonna end this for you. I should check on my sister first. What? Painting tilted. Where's my sister? This game, this game did not need to scare me this much, but it did. Oh my gosh. Wow, what a great freaking game. Mmm. So I guess the sister got, the sister said that they had outpatient stuff. In reality, she was just going to alt-delete, control-alt-delete herself. And, and then... Our, us, which we were being a bad sister, felt guilty afterwards, and we control alt deleted ourselves now. We alt f forward. Okay, all right, all right. Oh wow, wow! That was that was a game. That was a game. That was I. Be, the moral of the story: be nice to your sister and be nice to everyone, please. You don't know what they're going through, and you don't want that to happen to you. All right. Uh, pizza doggy. Nice. Good job, pizza doggy. That was awful. That did not look like our sister either. <gasps> oh. Oh. Hi, Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was... Alright, alright. That was... What, what was this game called? Incoherence. What does incoherence mean? I need to Google that real quick, just to, just to make sure. Incoherence. 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 The quality of being illogical, inconsistent, or unclear. Okay. Okay. Or oh, inability to speak intelligibly. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay, so, that was great. I gotta delete that out of this wheel. I, I want to play point-click killer, but I also don't want to cheat. 
So we're gonna just keep spinning this wheel. Honestly, by how short these games are, I wonder if I'm gonna end up like getting through half this wheel. Either way, what goes first? Oh wait, I already did home safety hotline. Well. <laughs> I'm here until Victor's gotten ready for bead. I thought you were about to say breed until Victor was ready to breed. <laughs> Okay, come on, come on, give me a good one. Give me one that's not gonna make me cry. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I've heard about this game. I have watched this game a long time ago. The Man from the Window. I don't know if all y'all heard about this game, but this game is also really freaking weird. I just want to get into it and try it out my own. Um, I don't really remember the answers to the game because it's kind of like a puzzle. So let what we'll see. We will get into it. <sighs> Where's Corey? I have no idea where Corey is. Corey is somewhere. I have no idea. Oh, this game is a window. Can I fix that? There we go. Sweet. Man from the window. Oh, full screen mode. You know, could have just done that. There we go. Waz to move, shift to run, tab to cycle inventory, uh, advance, advance dialogue, turn pages, lock the key, <laughs> quality setting, best <laughs> descent. <laughs> Dear God, no. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay. How do I? How do I back out? Is he staring? Okay. Let's get into it. I know there's two... There's a second game about this now. Um, start new game. Press X to skip. Interesting. Alright, start new. Hello? Here she is! Dum, 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 dum. Look at those boobas! Holy the dumpy! Oh my gosh! Dude, she is so curvaceous, vivacious... Oh, I love her hair. I just realized that's her hair. Dang! And all black, too. All black. Looking so good. Is there anyone staring in the window? Huh? Are you in the window? Excuse me. Don't sit on me now. Oh, my stars. I'm tired. Whew, what a long day. Seems like I keep getting home later and later. She kind of looks cross-eyed. <laughs> But that's just how it is sometimes. I ain't giving up. I better try to get some sleep. Gonna need to be up early, bright. I need to give a bit bit bit. Gonna need to be up bright early. Dude, why is she saying going to go? Woo! Gonna need to be up early, bright and early to cook breakfast for the little one. <gasps> little one, you say? Ooh! Ooh, dude, that book is the size of you, child. Mama, mama. Junior, what on earth are you doing up this late? You know you have school tomorrow. But mama, the man from the book is gonna get me. Huh? What man? What book? The man in my storybook. See? Oh, <laughs> that freaking phase on it. The man from the window. That's the title of the game. Give it here. You are a grown. Anyone in the window? Ah! Huh? You looking? You peering? Ah! Huh? Alright. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow. With his big beady eyes and sunken nose. Why, he just wants to say hello. As he smiles from ear to ear, the man wonders in the quiet night. Through alleys and backyards he goes, making very sure to stay out of sight. He silently peers through windows, searching for the one thing and one thing only. A new friend is all he wants, for the man is very, very lonely. Once you hear his tap, tap, tapping at the window, you'll know he's found a new friend to play. For now, you have only five minutes before, before he takes you away. But do not fret, for staying in one place is the man's only peeve. Keep him at bay for another five minutes, and he'll leave. 
the man indeed is very very bold soon he'll check inside the place which is cold the man is in his element doing what he does best next he will look under the place where you often rest the man will walk then he will lurch that place under the mirror is where he will search the man has no use for the trinket for trinket or token he will now check under the place where bread is broken the man has no friends no family no son and no daughter next he will check the place which holds water oh that freaking face uh, junior this is just one of those scary books people write you're too young to be reading this kind of stuff it'll scare your little mind half to death but mama i saw him outside i really did it's just a book sweetie it ain't real. Now get that cottontail off the bed right now. At this rate, you won't want to wake up in the... Huh? He's a-nuggin'. It's him! He's out there! Cal calm down, Junior. Whatever's out there, I'm pretty sure it ain't a monster. Oh, it is. Junior? Yes? Where'd you get this book from? It was on the table when I got home from school. You got it for me, right? Oh dear lord, this ain't good. Oh, we going, we going, we going, we going, we going. Okay, I know something about the donuts. It's a box of donuts. I brought it back from my job. Open the box. Okay, get the keys. Okay, and then we lock the door. No, 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 we lock the door. Lock, lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. No, this is not what we need to do! Okay, okay, I'm assuming the door is locked. Whatever. Stop, back up. Oh, wait, my inventory. How do I... Yes. Lock. Okay, does that mean lock? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, where did... What did the book say? Uh, what's the last pages? Place where holds water, place where bread is broken. Okay, so let's... Junior! F I think we have to hide Junior. Follow me. Okay. Place where holds water. No! Shoot, shoot, shoot. I need... Oh my gosh, should I just lock it out? How do I... Did I mess up? Did I... I locked myself out of this door. Oh my gosh. No, that's not what... <laughs> I got it. I, I, I'm disappointed. I'm so nervous. I want to get this right, and I'm already messing up in the simplest things. Okay, yes, we're skipping intro scene. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. Booty bunny, I'm skipping. Booty. This is not working. This is, this is, booty bunny, please. My goodness. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to click through this. I have to wait for that little, little boy. It said X, right? It said X. Gosh dang it. Locked myself out of my own bathroom. Yep, man from the window. Okay, so the place where breaks bread is under the dining table. And then the place that, the bathtub, I think I'm going to put the key, wait, can I fit under the dining table? Yep, 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 yep. Okay, 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 we run, we're running. Open the donuts, because that was one specific thing I remember, that he eats the donuts. Okay, we are locking the door. Tab out. Okay, Junior can hide there. Can I hide under here? Okay, so Junior can hide in the tub. Follow me! Follow me, Junior! Go! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I close these? No, it's fine. In a second. Okay. Hi, 
died! He's so cute. My big butt can't fit in the sink. Uh, is there anything else that we can do? Okay. Okay, that's locked. Okay, I think there's nothing in here that I can do. Lock that. Uh. 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 Is that all I can do? Is he out there? <gasps> yes, he is! Yes, he is! Yes, he is! Yes, he is! Back up! Back up! Back up! Back up! He's there! He's there! Holy crap! Okay! Uh, hiding under the table. Hide under there. Oh, I'm hoping I get this on the first try. This game is so old to me, but I love it. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. The door had been locked. The man spent only 30 seconds ripping the lock apart. Oh, I messed up! I know what I messed up! I think I was supposed to move the couch over to it! Oh, no! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> How's it going? The man spotted the box of donuts sitting on the table and did not spot Big Booty Mama Money, Bunny, under it. The man took an entire minute to eat them all. The time was now 2.01. Um. Okay, okay. I locked that! Can't go in there, I locked it! The bedroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping off the bedroom door. Oops. Okay. The time was now 2.02. .02. We got three minutes. I don't think we did it, though. Uh. The man looked under the bed. Nothing there! Nothing there for you! But he found nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, alright, alright. The man looked inside the fridge. And there was not- wait, we have nothing in our fridge? That's kind of sad. But he found nothing. Maybe it's grocery day. Well, we'll say it's grocery day. Also, mom coming home from the bakery at 2 a.m. is insane. That is insane. That is an insane amount of bakery hours. It's 2 or 3. Oh, shoot. We got two minutes. The bathroom door had been locked. The man spent 30 seconds ripping the bed bathroom door off. <laughs> Junior, hang low! Shh! Oh no, I don't think we did it. The man looked under the sink. Whew, that's creepy. But he found nothing. No, it's over. The time was 2.04! No, I messed up! No! The man looked inside the wash tub. Junior, no, please! The man had found his new friend. That is not what I wanted. Ah, oh, I messed up. Dang it. I messed up. Oh. <sighs> I think I'm supposed to move the couch and the couch saves us a minute. He has to be nearby still. Ain't no way they've gotten far this quick. I'll find him myself if I have to. Poor mama. I ain't lying. The man broke in and just took him. I couldn't stop him. Please, just find him. Please. Yeah, Mama got stuck under the table. Have you seen her rumpus tunkus? It is, you know, so, you know, there's not much moving around once you're down there. Let's try that again. Press X to skip intro scene. Oh, press X now? So dumb. I'm so dumb. Oh, we're going. We're going. We're going. Open up donuts. Open. Okay, and now we grab this. And we pick up the keys. Then we lock the door. Okay, I'm assuming that means lock. And we move the couch. Couch is nice and sturdy. I could probably push it in front of the door. Should I? It'll take about two minutes. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, move the couch. Oh, okay. Can we move the TV too? Okay. Junior! Follow me! Come on, kid! Get in the tub! Man, I can't imagine trying to fill that tub out. 
Don't be scared, Junior. I won't let him take away from you. I literally just need to live one more minute. Also, are you clip? You're clipping, but it's okay. You cuddle that broom. Okay, now we lock both these doors. Okay, check, 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 complete, done, dippo, whippo, zippo. Right? I think that's it. Head on the table. I think that's it. Hopefully that did it. Oh, he was so creepy. He's like a little spider. He's so skinny. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the door. The door was left. No, it wasn't! The Did I not lock it? Did I not lock it? No! No! Did I mess up? Alright, he ate the donuts. The man took an entire meal. I swear I thought I locked it! Time is now 2.02. I don't think- I don't think this is enough time. He takes 30 seconds to break each door. So that's another minute, so technically it's like 2.03. Oh man, I don't know. Man looked under the sink. Why is he looking under the sink so quickly? Found nothing. Did he always look at the sink first? Did the book randomize? Does the book randomize? Shoot, did I do it wrong? Oh no, did I actually mess up? Wait, he went to the bathroom before the bedroom. That's what I'm saying. Did it mix up? Oh no. Oh, I didn't realize that- I didn't realize the book was randomized. It's 204. Man looked under the fridge. Found nothing. <gasps> Wait! The time is now 2.05. The man's time is up! And he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. <gasps> Bye! <laughs> oh, I thought we- I thought- I don't know, it said that it was unlocked. I was like, no way! Did we just waste time again? And stay out! You get out of here! Or next time, I'll bring out the shoddy! We don't even- This is where you know you gotta get the ring system going, get a gun, get some barbed wire, bear traps. Mama, is he gone? He's gone, don't worry. Hooray! I knew you could do it! Mm. Oh no! What? Mama, he ate all the donuts. I wanted one. Oh my goodness, child, don't scare me like that. I'll bring you some from work tomorrow, okay? Okay. And Junior? Huh. No more cursed books, alright? I ain't up to dealing with that again. But what are we gonna do about the woman from the door? The who? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Ugh, what am I going to do with you, huh? Going to boob slam you. Like how that lady did it with a can. Just douche. That's what I'm gonna do with that child. Man from the window. One star. Is there multiple stars? Can I gain multiple stars? That was fun. Uh, that was a game, like I said, I have watched that before, but I really wanted to try it out. I don't know why. I missed the beginning of this. Is he only going to be there the one time? Yeah, he only comes in, and then he's got five minutes to search for the kid, and then if he doesn't find the kid, he's gone, and he won't come back, I guess. I want to know if they sleep in the same bed, or is she sleeping on the sofa? No, she, he, the kid sleeps on the boobs. Have you seen how big she's got She's got it going? That is enough cushioning for a full-grown German Shepherd. She, that, that kid is sleeping on there, okay? That kid is just comfortably just sleeping on there. Chest sleeping, that's normal, that's what kids do. That is not good when he's- That's not a teenager. <laughs> that's not a teenager. <laughs> what? You thought that little twerp was a teenager? You're crazy if you thought it is. Oh, when he's a teenager. Well, obviously, like, when he's a teenager, you know, the house situation could change. I moved from house to house to house to house, like, six different houses before I even hit teenager. So, you know, it could happen. It can change. Like, full on 18-year-old sleeping on Mama's Tata's. It'd be comfy, you know what I mean? It'd be real comfy. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 
Please, let, give me the one I want. No, this one's scary too. <laughs> I say this one's scary too, and they are all literally like scary games. Well, the thing is, it's like it's not. What do you? Um, some of them are scary than the, than the others. Creepier looking, I guess. You and your. <laughs> He's going to stay a child if they have to do that every way. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so this one is, it's not me, it's my basement. Um, so this is what the game looks like. Looks like we gotta do lots of reading. Gotta make sure my throat is all lubed up for that. Kinda gives me Ib vibes. Oh, you guys can't see it. Oopsies. Uh, whoop. There you go. The game kinda gives me Ib vibes. Um, if you know what Ib is. It also gives me Mad Father, which I also have Mad Father. I should have put that on the wheel. I'll put that next time on the wheel. I want to play Mad Father. I haven't played that game in so long. Um, I definitely want to do a rerun of that. But this looks cool. Um, so it says it's a short game. Oh, they got 100,000 plus, do 100, plus downloads. Congrats to them. This horror game, it may not be suitable for all audience. Be advised. Mom and dad are away, but you're old enough to take care of yourself now, aren't you? You'll be fine. There's no need to worry. You're more than capable of keeping everything under control, right? It's not me. It's my basement. A short horror game following a non-binary child and their daily life takes about 30 minutes to one hour to complete. There's only one ending. Uh, okay. Opening the game. Alright. Any good reviews? Leaving my review on every arc. Arcade King game. This game started everything for me when I witnessed that Cub Scouts played this. Okay, I don't know who that is. No offense. Uh, Alright. So it doesn't look like too jump scary. You miss Ib? Ib is a good game. Should I play Ib? Should I do like an old like horror game thing? Like Ib, Frambo? I would love to try because I remember watching Frambo and that looked like a fun series to watch like I wonder the experience of playing because you always know that the experience of watching and playing are two different things I think Frambo would be cool it would be cool uh, Mad Father would be cool too all right but let's get into this it's not me it's my basement I'm breaking up with you it's not me it's my cupboard just not meant to be wow that's a small window never mind uh full screen Ooh, I don't like that noise. That noise so gives, uh, ib and all that. Ooh! Uh, let me do a window capture for y'all. Uh, how that looking? That look no different? No, there we go. Does that look good? Hopefully. Ooh! New game. Oh, we live in a cute room. I would kill for a plushie like that. Little black peep looking plushie. It's morning. Gosh, are we a ghost? I have to make breakfast. Oh, so you eat. <sighs> okay. Alright. Minus one point. This game uses arrow keys. Alright? No WASD. Minus one point. I have to adjust everything to make it comfortable. Uh, Alright. What are we doing? Gosh, I hate arrow keys. Like, I just can't. It does. It's just not comfortable. I'm, I'm literally having to push everything, like, off my desk in order to get this right. All right. All right, let's get into it. My toy box. Trying to keep my toys neat. Mom likes when my toys are neat. All right. Whoa. An old train set. It isn't as fun to play with it as it used to be. All right. What about this peep plushie? How, how, what is this? A friend hanging out with his little buddy. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. Let's... Ooh, those noises are gonna creep me out. Uh, Brecky. Let's investigate first. Mom and Dad's room. Oh, we don't like that? Oh. The bathroom. I don't have to go right now. Okay. Fair enough. Also, love your bunny slippers. You look adorable. What do you think of this? Alright, you don't think. What do you think of that? Nothing I need from this drawer. Ooh, nice kitchen. Needs a little bit of a mopping. No reaction to that. Got it. What to do? Look at drawing. 
<gasps> ego! That's what I got, baby! A big, strong ego! This drawing has been on the fridge forever. Mom and Dad told me that all great artists sign their work at the bottom. Are you ego? It's crazy. Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Well, that's fair. I mean, look at all this freaking soot you got going on there. Three dishes have piled in the kitchen sink. Bread! Alright, let's open the fridge. What to do? Look in fridge. Good. We haven't run out of jelly yet. You got jelly! And now we get bread? Oh, there we go. Still got bread? Just enough. Two slices. You got bread! Do we just... Nothing I need from this cabinet. Nothing I need from... Um, hmm. Oh, here we go. We've still got, yeah, peanut butter. <gasps> We're making a PB and J. Thought so. You got peanut butter. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but it'll have to do. Oh, are we abandoned? Do we not have mommy and dad around? Sandwich made. We're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market, but I have to feed them first. Ah, uh, them? Who is- I hate that. This image is awful. I hate it. Don't say it's modern art because it's garbage. This is a TV. Dad set it up for me so that I could watch VHS tapes on the day we were stuck inside. But now that he isn't here, I find it hard to rewind the VHS tapes on my own. Scared I might break them. You stick a little pencil in, and you just go, right? And also, doesn't, like, the players also have a rewind to do it for you? I like to draw and watch the TV, and watch TV at the same time. Maybe one day I can do that again. See, that's fun. I like to color, and, like, listen to YouTube. What's all this? There's nothing I need to go in here for. What's this place? Can't leave the house right now. I need to feed them. What do you keep referring them to? Parents? Embry. That's our name. Okay. It's breakfast time, you guys. Remember to share. <laughs> okay. Did you guys share? Can you guys share? Why is my FPS up there? All fed. I better go write that grocery list before I forget. Alright, all written down. I guess we're going to the market today. Okay. Uh, what is down there? Chains aren't the strongest, but they do what they need to do. What, are we just like a child living with our own little zombie apocalypse in this house? Wow, there's no color out here. I could just click. Oh my gosh, I'd rather just click. Jeez. What? Whoa, what? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Why do I have to do this? Why torture me? Why torture me? Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got it. Whoa. Well, we're here again. I hope Miss Baylor has it today. This is cute. Cute little market. We need jelly. Oh, Embry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or uh, jam? Whichever. You know, normally I'd ask someone to say please. But, but you're special. You don't gotta. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> um, I'll get that ready for you. Lickety split. Thank you. So, Embry. This is the third week in a row you came here dressed like this. Oh, we've been so banned. Oh. I like this outfit. You know, if your mom and pa ever need help with the laundry, I don't mind. Do you think I smell, Lucille? Oh, no, no, of course not. I just wanted to, you know, it's all right. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. They are sick. They got their own little zombie apocalypse going in the house. Aw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. Oh, what they're sick with. Ah, Embry. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? 
Well, sure, sure, of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. And some sourdough on the house. Aww. You like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, embers. How is everything? Your folks are alright? Oh. Yeah. They're fine. Well, not fine, but, you know. Ah, uh, right. Well, uh, you know. My kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want... We could come over and maybe help around the house, bring over some more bread. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Right, right. Well, just tell them I offered anyways, okay? Anytime they need it. Right, I will. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. I feel bad for this little girl. She's independent, though. What, is she paying with anything, or do these guys feel bad? Mr. Mrs. Castello sells milk and other dairy products at her stand. Okay, we don't need that. Honey sells honey. <laughs> I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with the way things are right now. Oh. Okay, so what's going on over here, flowers? Esther sells flowers here. Flowers aren't a need, so I don't stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with mom. Meat? You don't have any today either, do you? Afraid not, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. And you know if I had any spare, I'd give it to you. You really don't have anything? Look, kid. All I got needs to be sold. I got people to feed too, you know. Look, kid. I promise, next time you ha I have extra, it's all going to you. Alright. See you later. So we aren't paying. Okay. So these guys like just have like extra and that they can afford to give away. That's all I came here for. I guess there's uh nothing left to do but go home. Oh, you don't have to go home. Enjoy the day. Well, I don't know. This day is quite freaking gloomy. Oh, we're home. Everything's put away. It's getting dark already, huh? I'll have to feed them dinner. Then, before it gets too dark. PP and J's. PP and J's for dinner. I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to. There's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. I can hardly key up, keep up. Dinner's ready. How old are we? I feel like we're so tiny. Uh, oh, it's down here. Yeah. Uh, Boopy? Down here? Dinner! Yummy time! It's dinner time. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. Dinner time! <coughs> They're quite... Never mind, they're not quiet. <laughs> Dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. I feel so bad. Are we gonna see them? I'm so curious what they look like. What sickness they have. The demon sickness? Can we go in Mama and Papa's bedroom yet? Mom and Dad's room. Nope. Bathroom? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Don't need to bother you. Got it. You're your own woman. Time to go to bed. Well, you're a kid, actually. You, uh... Do you see how easy it is? Oh, Mom looks so pretty. They grew so quickly. I thought we had to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful, too. Because as easy it is for a flower to bloom... It is just as easy to wilt and wither away. Without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to wilt. So you must remember to take care of the little thing. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. What? Wait, I looked away! What, what was that? Was that blood? 
Was mom shot? Oh. They're banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should check on it. Right? Oh. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, we're gonna have to run. Mom? Dad? What was wrong with mom? Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. And I have to try and save as much food as I can. But they're hungry. I, I can't just let them go hungry. Or else they might... Ooh! They said that there's one ending, right? I think it said that there was one ending. Ah! Uh, go back to bed. I don't think we should feed them. They already got their portion. No. I already fed them. They... They can wait until morning. Right? Uh, I'm going back to bed. Don't break! I also kind of want to see what they look like if they break out. Oh. <gasps> Good morning! It's morning. I have to make breakfast. And also do chores today. What chores am I going to do today? I should probably start making lists like mom used to. You got laundry you can do. Laundry was a big complaint here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Actually, can I... Whoa, I went into the abyss there. Can I go in here yet? Nope. Can I go in the bathroom yet? No. Alright. Gotta keep checking. I'm gonna keep checking. Also, whoa. <laughs> Yay! What's gonna... <laughs> I'm broken. <laughs> Alright. They're still locked in. That's good. Breakfast. Breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whatever's here. I just got bread yesterday and jelly. And we still have butter and stuff? Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope it'll be filling enough that they don't cause a ruckus again. Is that on? Nothing I need from the pantry right now. Is that on? No. Just looked on. Uh, look in fridge. Butter, yeah, I should use it. Better to feed it to them than to let it go bad. You got but oh you actually mean butter. Drawing change? No drawing change. I don't know why I think it would change, but you gotta you know, you gotta keep those eyes open. Um uh, bread. You got bread. I just went shopping and yet What? Breakfast is ready again. But um there's something else I have to do in here. Oh, uh, what's it again? Chore list! Toy list. All oh, right. Today is the fourth of the month. I almost forgot to write it down. Okay. What does that do for us? Does that help with the chores? Today marks four months since it happened. Four months since the monsters appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Oh, four months that I've been keeping them fed. So they don't eat me like they ate them. So the monsters ate our parents. That's not our parents. Oh. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean. As clean as I can. But I can't clean everything by myself, and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I usually try to clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they're not clean. My mom taught me that. My parents. That night they appeared. The sound that followed. It sounded like they were eaten. But I, I didn't actually see that happen. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I... I think that maybe they weren't somehow. Maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back. I don't know. It's all very confusing. I just, uh... What's that saying the adults say? Take it day by day. 
That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything else will be okay, too. Oh. Why do we have blood on us? There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. But I've been reading. A lot. I wish I could be like the kids in these books. Because maybe then I know what I'm supposed to do. The door? Again? But this isn't their normal feeding time. Oh, uh, oh, it is mom! Embry. Oh, her face, she's terrified. Are you there? Don't open it. Mom? Embry? It's okay. Mom, you... I know you must have been so scared. But everything's better now. You can open the door. Uh, shh. Stay silent. Embry, I know you're there. Don't you want to see your mother again? I missed you so much. You must have been so lonely without us. Please open the door. Y you're not my mom. Ho oh, ho ho! Alright, kiddo, this isn't funny anymore. Open the door before I get mad. Stay silent. Stay silent. I know you're there, Embers. Open up. My dad. My dad doesn't talk to me like that. Ho oh, ho. Is it done? Embry? What? Please let me out. I'm tired of this. Why? Why do you sound like... I hate this. And you hate it too, don't you? So why are we still doing this? Just open the door already. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door. You. How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you really hate yourself this much? Wh what are you talking about? Y you're talking nonsense. What, what do you want? I'm keeping you fed. Isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? <gasps> oh, I want out. I want out. I want out. Let us out. I, I, I need fresh air. Oh, man, put the couch over it. You know what I mean? Like, just let them rot in there. It's okay. <sighs> Everything is okay. I, also the pink house, super cute. I never heard them talk before. I didn't even think they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. That's bad. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? Yeah. No, what am I saying? If I let them go hungry, then the only thing they have left to eat is themselves! Let them eat themselves! Cannibalism! We love it here! Yeah, let them eat themselves. Eat, eat the walls. But if I keep feeding them the way I am now, they'll just get stronger. No, no, it's gonna be okay. I, I will figure something out, and I'll just keep feeding them until I do. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. Oh man, I would not go in there right now. The swing set is broken can't ask anyone to fix it for me. I just hope the other swing doesn't break. Oh, <laughs> I feel so bad. My heart bleeds for this little child. Oh my gosh, dealing with monsters. She's so smart, though, if you think about it. Like, what child's gonna think about chaining all this up? Feeding them? Cleaning? I don't know how old this little twerp is, but man, smart. Dinner time again. I just... Hope they don't try something like they did earlier. Yeah, like, how do you know if they're, like, not at the door? You know what I mean? Mmm. Mmm. What to do? Look in the fridge. There has to be something in here. 
I never ended up touching this cheese wheel. It's kind of heavy. It was supposed to be good, but it's probably collecting mold now. Some people like mold on their cheese though, right? I'll give it to them. You got cheese! Bread? Nothing I need from this guy. So are we just giving them straight up cheese? Give them a whole cheese wheel! Dude, they are living luxury! Would you like a bottle of wine? It'll be in the cellar. They're quiet. They're at the door. They're so at the door. I'm not going to announce it's dinner time. I'll just throw it down. Oh, you do it so quick! Enjoy your cheese! Blue cheese! Alright. They're fed. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to bed. Do we eat? Please tell me we eat, at least. I never see you eat, my little love. Please eat. Are you, like, nibbling it as you walk? Can we go through here yet? Man, you don't want to. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. What is this? A hamper. There's no use for this anymore. Why? Do your laundry. It's time to go to bed. I told you. It's easy, isn't it? Dad's got horns? <laughs> Why does dad got horn? Got horn? Why does dad have horns? It's cute, though. It's fun. Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. Whenever I'm feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. And I know, even on the worst days, I can always come back to the painting to make it better. Will I ever be as good at painting as you are? You could be. You could be whatever you want. Really? Mm-hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So, you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in. So your painting doesn't end up ruined. Whoa! What are these images? <laughs> Was that an eye? Oh, no. They're banging on the door again. This is the second night in a row. Are they still mad? Stay in bed. No, just stay in bed. Oh, no. Why are we doing this? Leave! Mm, hello? Gosh, that's terrifying. What am I supposed to do? I know food isn't the only thing they want now, but food also calms them down. I, I need them to be calm. But with the amount they already eat, what am I going to do? Oh no! Uh, do I feed them or do I go back to bed? I. But they're at the door, so if I feed them, I'm opening the door, kind of, like, killing myself, I feel like. There's no way I can, like, really bypass that. So, I'm... I have no idea. Uh... Hold on. Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh... Da, 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 da. Okay. <gasps> I think we are going to go back to bed. Screw them. No, we're going we're going to eat. I can't. I can't just give it to them. I'll pretend I slept through this. I I'm going back to bed. Is that going to break? See, it's fine. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. How much food left is left anyways? I might have to go back to the market later. Maybe there'll be meat today. I think it's what keeps them mo the most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. Oh man! They're gonna be out and about at certain at a certain point. They are. They have to be. Oh no. All right. Nothing to look in the fridge. We don't need bread. Okay. I usually try to avoid giving them cereal because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them in the box. All the boxes. 
We really have to run. We really have run this low, haven't we? I was just at the market. Each visit is closer together than the last. There, what's the thing the thing Dad would say? Eating me out of the house and home. <laughs> I've got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough for breakfast to begin with. You got the cereal! Corn flakes, honey nut Cheerios, fruit loops, frosted flakes. Captain Crunch! Here we go again. Even though it's just cereal. All of it together should be at least enough for breakfast. Oh my gosh! My goodness. It's fine. They seem fine with it. I better head out now, then, to make sure I have enough for dinner. Oh, <sighs> girly, you are just... Oh, Alright, let's go shopping! Yay! Shopping! There has to be a reason why there's this giant maze thing, right? They ain't just letting this whole thing, like, be a thing. Back again. I have to ask Miss Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it before anyone else. I'll beg her for it if I have to. Please, Miss Baylor. I'll take anything. Oh, this poor kid! Baylor? Miss Baylor? Embry, good morning! Oh, you seem pretty happy today. <laughs> Does it show on my face? I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Good news? For me? Does that mean you have meat today? <laughs> no. Not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh. What is it then? Well, you see. There's a traveling doctor visiting town today. D doctor I hear he's quite well known. Supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents. So maybe he can. Y yeah. I'll, uh, I'll try to find him later then. Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talking to Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. <laughs> I'll be watching from here. Go on. Go introduce yourself. Right. Uh, oh, hey. Oh. Huh. Hello. Ah, Embry, you're just in time. I'm sure Miss Baylor already told you. This is Dr. D-Light. <laughs> D-Light? Ooh, the music change! I also love his look. <laughs> He's cool. The one and only. And I'm quite a D-Light if I say so myself. So you're Embry. Folks around here were telling me that you need some help. It's quite nice to meet you. You're a doctor? Indeedly so. Uh. You look like a clown. What, well, Embry, hey now. A clown? Oh, I certainly hope I'm a funny one then. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce D-Light to your parents? If anyone can help them, he should be able to. Yeah, right. I'll do my best to assist. Go on then, lead the way. Can I ask for food first? Milk! Even though I should promote healthy eating habits, I can't deny that I quite enjoy a glass of milk and some cookies every now and again. Really? Even a doctor like yourself? Of course! I'm allowed a cheat day every once in a while, too. <laughs> He's cool. Honey is perfect for this time of year. It really helps to soothe the sore throat. Yeah, Mom taught me that, too. Have you been picking up honey for them? Uh, no. A sore throat isn't the problem. Ooh, bread? bread? They sell bread out here like this? How nice! I can imagine buying a small roll to snack on while you stroll. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, jelly? What a nice fruit stand! You know, they say an apple a day keeps a doctor away, but not me! <laughs> so, you like apples? Not really. <laughs> That's funny. Flowers! I don't know if you can tell just by looking at me, but I'm quite a fan of flowers. No, I can tell. Alright, let's go home. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, here, fall. So this is the way to your house? Quite the thickest to walk through. Uh, Mr. D-Light? 
Aha! It's Doctor! Right. I didn't want to say this in front of everyone else, but you should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family's been going through, we can fix it. Oh, man. Embry, you go to the market all by yourself? Yeah. Is that an issue? Oh, well, I just... It seems like a long way for a child to walk by themselves, that's all. I'm used to it now. Yeah, she's been doing it for four months. So, Embry, what do you like to do? What do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stains on your apron seem to hint at it. I'm quite the artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. P pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Um, nothing. I see. Oh, this doctor actually seems really nice. Well, while we're still on our way, why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, if I'm treating them, I should know about them, shouldn't I? Um, well, do you know what's afflicted them? Um, your parents, I've been told they're very sick. So sick they can't leave the house? But you, you seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I wouldn't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies if I made you uncomfortable. Man, you about to encounter some monsters. Bro, how am I literally take five steps and you want to spark a conversation. Can we just walk and talk? You know, this walk isn't actually so bad. It's nice to just stroll through the nature every now and again. I guess. Still, though, it surprises me you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared of any monsters coming out to get you in the woods? Uh, um... Embry, are you alright? Huh? No, sorry, it's just... Looks like I upset you. I'm okay. Yeah, you blabbering too much. Don't worry. Hmm? You... You seem like you're under a lot of stress. A child with parents so sick the child has become their caretaker. That must be so difficult. Please don't worry. I will do all I can to return you to a normal life. Shut up. Eh? I told you, you can't help me. You should just go. Well, can't I le at least try? You know how to hunt monsters, my guy? Look at my, s uh, my swing. Embry! Huh? Your swing set. See, I wanted to notice this, uh, cause I didn't see it. He- that is his mouth, I guess. Is this his face painted then? Is this not a mask? I thought this was a mask at first. So is this not a mask and a like painting and then he's wearing like a hijab type thing? I'm guessing because this if his mouth is moving. Your swing set, it's broken. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Well, after we fix up your parents, I'm sure we can fix this too. Are you going to be my new parent? Hold on. Can you actually be my parent? You really still want to see them? I do. Here we are. Your house seems nice. Very cozy. Yeah, sure. What's this room? This? This leads to the dining room. Mom always hated it because it's so far from the kitchen. She was going to switch the furniture around, but... Yeah. Nothing in there. Can I, like, show them to my, my, like, I don't know if that sounds weird, but, like, I want to show them, like, around the house. Tour time! Look how empty my fridge is! You must have drawn this picture on the fridge, yes? Yeah, I did, but it was forever ago. So let's see here. This is you in the middle, and your parents on both sides. Yeah. That's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. He's so positive. Quite the tall pantry. But it seems rather empty. Yeah. Oh, your oven is in good condition, I guess. I don't really touch it. There's a lot of dirty dishes in here. Do you need help with this? No, it's fine. Don't really use the dishes anymore, so. Huh? <laughs> a bread box! How cute! Yeah, they had this before I was born. Oh my, you've got a big brother bread... <laughs> you've got a big brother bread box then? My big brother bread box. Jeez, what a freaking alliteration mess. 
<laughs> is he the doctor or does he work for Child Protective Services? It's kind of like both, right? Huh? Uh, oh. You keep track of the days. Yeah. Don't most people? Well, yes, but you do it all by yourself? How do you know? These dates are mocked off in crayon. Oh, <laughs> she's drawing in crayon. That's so cute, though. Okay, so can we show bathroom? What's this room? Bathroom. Do you have to go? Oh, no, but thank you for asking. <laughs> this is my room. What's this? A little buddy hanging out with his friend. <laughs> Aw, do you make your bed every morning? That's a good habit to practice. I guess. You keep all your toys neat? Yeah, it's better than stepping on them all the time. Well, I suppose I can't argue with that. Oh my, a train set. Have you ever seen a train in real life before? No. Have you? Many times. I use them to get around quite often. I see. Are they cool? <laughs> yes, they are very cool. Why, look at this. You have quite a view from your room. I must say, I'm a bit jealous. Really? I don't think there's much to look at. He's so sweet. What is? Why is he so nice? What's this room? Mom and Dad's room. But they're not in here. Oh, where are they? They're in the basement, buddy. <laughs> they're in the basement, buddy. You're about to go see. We're about to go enjoy them. This might look... Oh my, oh my. Is that a TV I see? Yeah. I'm impressed. These are quite rare around these parts. Yeah, I remember feeling lucky to have one. Very lucky indeed. Does it work? I mean, yeah. The tapes just need to be rewound again. Fascinating. Hear my drawing? Embry, is this your work? Yeah, why? It's beautiful. Thanks. Just gonna show him everything. Bookshelf? A full bookshelf makes for a full brain. Yeah, there's a lot of books here. And quite a variety to add. How delightful. You like my couch? Okay. Alright, alright. Here you go. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, my quite heavily locked door. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Embry? Are they in there? Can we open the door? What? No. Hey, 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 it's all right. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? Stay the night and you'll see. I don't know what's down there. But whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Embry, you... See, I told that you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? <laughs> okay, I will open the door. I just, uh, something the matter. My key is gone. That's, I always keep it on me. Did I drop it at the market or something? Did you bring it to the market? I, maybe... I don't know, I don't remember. Why don't we look around for it he here, then? We can check the market after. We're sure it isn't here. I'm sure one of the stall owners would have said something if they saw you drop it anyways. That's a good point. Let's look around here, then, I guess. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, okay, so we kind of give them, like, a house tour during this. Nothing here. All right. Uh, there's another one in the bedroom if I remember right nothing here nothing here nothing here no bread box no nope 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 all right upstairs what a lovely plant it isn't real that doesn't make it any less nice Aw, he's so sweet, dude. That's like the mentality I want to have. Uh, is it in here? There's not a lot of clothes in here. Yeah, it's easier to just stay in this. Oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? And what about when you need to shower? I just wash my clothes during my shower. I, I see. I mean, that's kind of smart. Uh, 
Oh, shoot, that scared me. Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I did. But this doesn't make any sense. I never put the key in here before. I don't even remember. Well, I suppose it's good you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Ooh, could something have happened? Do we sleepwalk? Are we sleepwalking or something? Ooh, what's going on? Why are we not remembering? Alright, opening the door now. Oh, seems like quite the long way down. Is there a light switch? It's at the bottom of the stairs, but, um, I think the light's burnt out anyways. I see. Well, let's go on then. What? Oh, she's terrified. I said we can open the door. I didn't say you could go down. Eh, what do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, you can't. Embry, let's go. No, please. She killed him. Oh my gosh. I, I'm i so upset. Oh my gosh, I'm so upset. Why did she do that? No, no, he was so nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm actually so upset. I really liked him. I thought he was going to take her away from this. And wow. All right. Your shoes are dirty. <sighs> he was so nice. He was so nice. Look at that. It's time for bed already. You should feel awful. Don't worry about it. It's it's time to go to bed. Oh my gosh, that doctor was so good. He was so good. He was helpful in everything. Oh my gosh, my heart. My heart goes out to the doctor. Rest in peace. What? Doctor King for vengeance? I would. That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. <sighs> they broke out. Ain't no way they did not break out. Yep, they broke out. Oh, the painting's looking at me! Oh, the painting's looking at me! Yeah, look what you caused. You gave them strength. The basement door's open. Take her. I didn't open it. I, I definitely locked it before I went to bed. So how is it that... What do I do? Go downstairs. Embrace your death. I have no choice. I have to go down there. Because if I don't... They're gonna eat you. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hello? Wow. Wow. Who's gonna meet me halfway? No one. Holy cow, why do we live in a, such a place like this? What kind of basement is this? Whoa, 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 hey, hey, yo, yo, whoa, hey, ghost. Ghost? You think I was gonna go to bed during this opportunity? You're crazy. Oh, blood. Is that the PB and J's? Dude, what kind of basement is this? This ain't no basement. Alright. Hello? Come on, keep going. Don't be afraid now, Missy. You killed someone. This is this is what you asked for. You gotta see what he had to go through. Dude, this is a longer walk than the place to the town. Are we gonna get, like, chased? Is that why? Oh. 
Also, why are those appearing? Is this like a ghost monster? Is this all in our head? What? What? Your Embry. What? You. Why do you look like... You look surprised. I don't see why. I thought by now you'd realize. You and I are one and the same. No, that's not... It can't be right. It can't? Why can't it be? Well, that's right. It's because... You think we're a monster. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster? That's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. We're monsters, but you're not. Is that right? How does that make sense? You're not a monster? You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. Okay, well, now you're lying. He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he, he, he stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. Okay, that's believable. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? Oh, it's getting creepier. You opened the door and then begged him to not look inside. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have even seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he wouldn't have been here to begin with if you weren't such a monster. Why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry, what are you going to do with yourself? Have you been doing all this time? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding. And for what? I think you feed me because you like it. It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feed me? Oh god, she's getting so creepy. She's getting so creepy. And then you feel better. You feel safe. Nothing is coming to hurt you. Oh. <laughs> and you know, the funny thing about that is... Ooh, look at those teeth! Day after day, despite how much you've been feeding me, I'm still hungry. Oh. oh, that was a nightmare? No, how much of it was a dream? I hate that. Wait, hold on. How much of it was a dream? Just a nightmare. It's mom and dad gonna walk through. But it's gone lo on long enough. Oh, are we gonna actually do something about it? Going through mom and dad's? Okay, so I think we're still in... Are we still in... Oh. Okay, so this is still after doctor. Got it. Like that oh oh that pisses me off i don't know i just that was a great game that was a great game you know what that was a beautiful game and i think it said that it, there's only one ending but i am so confused why she did that she just like gave up i guess she's feeding the monster oh man arcade kitten that is a great game holy cow let me see here. Uh, I want to see if Arcade Kitten has any more games, honestly, because that was freaking great. They do! Hold on, they do. Let's see what they got. They got Cemetery Mary, which I think actually sounds pretty cool. And then, what? where's your basement games not here? Crow Scare looks cool, too. Oh, look at that. Sweet! I mean, I'm still, like, I'm kind of upset that it ended so weirdly, especially with a dream, too. So, like, after a bad dream, 
from killing the doctor, I guess, f- throughout all the guilt we had, we, I guess, we just, like, couldn't handle it anymore and gave them their final feeding. But, man, that was really, really good. Dang. What, didn't it say? There's only one ending. Yeah. Frick. Oh, man, that was, that was crazy. Wish there was kind of a different ending, though, but man. All right. Um, let's see if I can fit one more game and then we'll switch into not for broadcast because that's always fun and I'm on like day 1500 in that game and I need to beat it. So let's see, uh, wheel of games. It's not me. It's my basement. That's, that was really good. That's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I was tied in. I was ready to ruin my throat for that one. All right. We got (laughs) Bushy. Cleaner for Bermito's house. Oh man, y'all ain't ready for this one. Bermito. <laughs> this game is. Where is it? Where is it? It's the one with Kermit. Where is it? Bermito. Uh, there he is. <laughs> I was waiting to try this game. Look at that freaking little face. What is this game about? Oh my gosh. New game. This is the same person that creates Save Your Baby. Uh, ooh, I keep forgetting to change it. This is the same game. Oh, wait, hold on. Eh, eh, there we go. This is the same game that created Save Your Baby, and I refuse to play Save Your Baby because it looks absolutely terrifying. So now I'm intimidated. <laughs> Look at him. Look at the little guy. <laughs> How can this be so scary? All right, so for this game, let's look at the video. Clean up the toilet, talk to Kermit. (laughs) That scared me! Alright. Well. Oh my gosh, hold on. Give me a second. I need to, like, cough for a minute. Hold on, I need to turn off my camera. I need to cough. I'm coughing right now. All right, I'm back. Hopefully you didn't hear my cough. If so, I'm sorry. Uh, boop. All right, hello. Uh, what? Okay. So this game, I actually... <laughs> Whoa, Deerwood. Hold on. Hold on, let me take a look at this one real quick. Deerwood? Wait, okay, it's not gonna show me. Uh, whoa, all right, it crashed. All right, Deerwood did not work. Got it. Okay. Thought it was gonna, like, bug out for me. Let's bushery cleaner for Bermito House. This is gonna freaking scare me, and I hate that it is. Is it running? Is it downloading? There we go. Is it... Maybe I just needs a minute. Ooh, but I feel like we knocked out some pretty decent story games. For sure. It's going to have the dumbest jump scares. Yeah, it's going to definitely be like Shrek's uh, Hotel with that one. I am not happy with it either because I hate it. Patrick got me. I'm going to look at that again. Is, what is it? So someone's coming around the corner. I'm going to prepare myself. Also, what is this like Spider-Man-esque music? So what? Okay, you go, and then... <laughs> what is that? Oh! What's happening? Are we crashing? Come on! I want to play this! Come on now! Uh, maybe I could find the file or something. Oh, why did I do that? That helped a lot. Why is it... Is it not going to work? Oh, I'm going to be so sad if it doesn't work. Maybe I need to check for update. It's up to date. Hmm. What? 
No. Oh, is that it? Wait, hold on. Are we getting somewhere? Ah, there we go. Kermito. This looks so stupid. <laughs> Crotch shot, my goodness. I love how they have their trailer playing on the TV. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kermit. I'm glad that I'm talking to you now. I heard you need help cleaning. Okay, I'll come to you tomorrow. Bye. Needs help cleaning. Got it. Oh, I want to talk to Kermit. <gasps> Abyss. Got it. Kermito! Oh, no. It's like Patrick. No, please. I already dealt with something like this. Oh, man. How's that trailer? Huh? Good trailer, man. What's what's that you're watching? Available on Ichio. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Go clean my toilet. Okay, I will clean it. Okay, move now. All right. <laughs> oh man, what's wrong with your hands? Your hands are broken. All right, I'll see you in a bit, Kermit. Kermito. Where's your toilet? Hmm? Toilet. Toilet. Where's your toilet? Where is... Listen, I'm trying. I'm looking! Okay, you don't have to look at me like that! Where's your toilet? Where you poop? Is this your toilet? <laughs> uh, clean up toilet. Glow stick and equipment. Wait, I have... I have a diary? I have heart? Holy cow, am I gonna die? Are you gonna kill me? Oh, here we go, tools room. Do I have to go in the tools room first? Kermit, where's your freaking pooper, bro? Uh, uh, is this your toilet? No, this is the exit, right? Yeah, this is the exit. What? Um. Uh, is it through this painting? No, no Minecraft style here. I can't. What are the controls? Can I look at the controls, please? How to play. Interact and talk with Kermit. Left mouse. Interact or take. Okay. Run? Frick off. <laughs> There's running? Hi, Mr. Kermit. I'm glad that I'm talking to you now. I heard you need help cleaning. Okay, I'll come to you tomorrow. Bye. Boy. 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 Okay, can we actually open a door this time? Hey, buddy. Hello. Go clean my toilet. Okay, I will clean it. Okay, move now. Okay. Tasks. Clean up toilet. What if I have to have, like... Can I have nothing? Uh, Kermit. None of your doors are working. There we go. Oh, wait. Do I have to run into it? Wait, wait, wait. No. I don't... Wait, did the door... Ah, pff, ah, pff, whatever, whatever. The door worked. Yay! Okay, so it is pushing. Toilet? No. Hot dang, this is a huge kitchen. Curry, you got it nice for yourself, bro. Mm, can't enter there. Got it. Jammed. Hello? I guess that's not mine to answer, right? <laughs> I love the little copyright. <laughs> Hello? <gasps> the frick? <sighs> Too many poopoos! Oh no! I eat. Nom, nom. Mmm, mm, yes, mm, yes, mm. Hot, chalky, wonky. Is that blood? Mmm, yep, 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 yep. Mmm, I love me some pudding! Nice photo. All done. I ate it. 
It was so yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Hello? I'm not looking. I refuse. Yeah, there you are. There you are. You think you're so funny. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Carmito. That's all you look like. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Now that, that I don't like. Alright, bye. Oh, did you come out of that? Come out of the closet? Uh. <gasps> Okay. Okay. All right. I get it. Hey, you got a weird friend. I cleaned the toilet. Your brother is beautiful. My brother? My brother died many years ago. Bring a soft drink and I will give you the computer room key. Okay. All right. So I guess uh, that was supposed to screw me unless he's there again. No, he's not there again. Okay, soft drink, soft drink. I'm assuming is in here. No photo of Miss Piggy, huh? No photo of Miss Piggy? Poor Miss Piggy. Oh, soft drink. Here we go. Knife. Knife. Okay. Okay. I got you soft drink. Enjoy your TV. I didn't tell you I want soft drink. Yes, you did. What? No, you tell me that. Huh? Forget it. I may have said this and forgot to take computer room key. Uh. Okay. Tools room. Computer room key. Okay, so Kermit's brother is what? Oh? Uh, is this computer room? Wasn't this closet? Oh, sodies. Sody Pops. Why are you closing? Gaming? What are we gaming on? Okay, we don't need to be that nosy now. Come on. I feel like the flashlight just made- and the, These lights just make it so much creepier. How do I clean? What do I- Is there a trash bin? Oh. My gosh, I'm done. Please turn that off. Okay, there we go. Milk. Oh my gosh. Santa. Cola. Okay. That door is being really weird. What was that? What was that? Also, what did I get? I got a piece of... Uh... That's not English. Paper is a thin material produced by pressing most fibers together. Hello. That was English. So why the door gotta be swinging like that? You got no hinges? You got that makes it worse for me. I'm just trying to clean. I'm just trying to. Oh my gosh! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right, let's just finish this up. Clean up all your trash. I don't know who you must be. The Roblox streamer that's messy all over TikTok. I feel like that stepping is not me. Also, what is that? Okay, glass in the dirt. Got it. Is that for Miss Piggy? Alright, one last can. Talk with Gurmy. <laughs> Don't trust my brother. Why? He locked me in the basement. What is the problem? He wants you to clean the house and then he'll kill you. I not trust you. Remember, I told you not to trust Kermit. Okay. I don't want to see dogs. Alright. Well, don't look at the mirror. Oh, okay, brother. Alright, brother. Alright, have a nice night. Oh, man. Hey. I see your brother when I clean computer room. I think these are hallucinations. Forget it. Go to the tool room. This on the left side. Yes, Kermit. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? I'm here. What? 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 Nothing here. Okay. 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 Can we leave? Find Kermit. 
Mm. Yes. Mm, yes. This is the best decision. Why do we need just leave? If okay, scanning, not entering any room. He's gonna pop up behind me. I know it. 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 Ooh! I know it. The brother. The brother's coming to get me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, this is the last room we have not checked. And we can't go through it. Oh! Take the knife and kill Kermito because he killed Kermit? Kermit's dead? Oh! Kermit's dead. Kermit's dead. Uh... Kermito was evil. He's gonna like... This is bad. Where's Kermito coming from? Kermito? Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. Die! I want to talk with Kermit. <laughs> Kermit! He's going to die. You no. must say goodbye to him. No! You. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are these games like this? I love them and hate them at the same time. <laughs> that is... <laughs> what a story. It had plots. It had twists. It had scares. It had the drama. Oh, what an ending. What a heart-wrenching ending. Kermit, why? Darn you, Kermito. <laughs> that was actually really fun. That was super cool. Oh, man. <laughs> that was really, really cool. Sweet. Oh, man. These are the people who made um, Save Your Baby. And I refuse to, pay to play Save Your Baby because it actually looks like the most terrifying. Like, look at that. Look at that! Who's... I'm not! No, no, no! You can't... You can't see me with that! Let's look at the trailer. We'll look at the trailer. But I don't think I could. The, like the talk over just makes it funnier than what it is because it's super scary looking like oh my goodness look at it look at it and then oh he's gone oh but yeah that's really cool the current one's really freaking funny <laughs> it's a nerve for me Cleo. <laughs> all right so that is all the majority of scary games I'm going to play tonight, tonight, and then I'm going to try to do some not for broadcast for this final hour. Because not for broadcast is so much fun. I love it so much. Not for broadcast. Not for broadcast. Okay. Uh, doop, a doop, a doop, a doop, a doop, a doop, oh, ooh, 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 a doop. All right. Fun, fun, fun. Those were some pretty solid games, though. I, like, I think the one I hated the most was that stupid test one. The one that messed up my camera. That one was actually awful. That one I'm not happy about playing. The silk bulb test. There it is. There, taunting me. That's terrifying. Actually made me the most anxious, probably, out of all of it. But this one. I'm on day 15, whatever. When am I ending it? Um, and like the achievements is crazy. The amount of achievements. I don't even know. Like, to, would I have to restart the entire game to even get the achievements? Off camera, of course, I'm talking because ain't no way I'm going to put everyone through the suffering of this. We're already six hours into this game still, and there's not, we're still going through it. But watch it be like um, the home safety hotline where I did the last day <laughs> today. 
tiny build. Not for broadcast contains scenes that some players might find distressing. Discretion advised. Because I know we're still missing a couple scenes, so maybe we're, we're missing a, for sure a full day. I watched a full playthrough, uh, and no spoiler, they got thir to 3,000 something days. Dang, dude. Yeah, I, I, I'm invested into this story, and honestly, I really am excited to try the DLC, because the DLC just looks so wacky and fun, especially the horror DLC. That one looks really fun. Takes forever to load, though. But, you know, it's really hard to do all that acting and, like, make it seem amateur, I guess what you mean? Like, I feel like it's very hard to make things look amateur without making it look really, really bad. And I'm just, you know, I think this all came out really well. And the decision making is cool. The investment. Oh, Jeremy, I miss you. Yeah, we got telethon, spooky, bits of your life. Alright, back into it. Day 1975. That's a year. We have not seen literally one, two, three, or four. So hopefully we get to see some of that. And it looks like she loses her mind. I would too. After so many years have gone by with no good change happening. I would go berserk. Day 1975. The sterility. Yup. Here's what I remember. They replaced our entire system with advance. Okay, that's it. Oh, the advanced logo is on the wall, too. Um, and look at that. Public information. Competition time. Check power. Got it. There's our tower. It's, not, it's cleaner looking. We don't have to worry about cooling, which we never really did have to worry about that. I wonder if it's because we set our difficulty uh, lower. Songs in the new future. Celebrate the end of the uneven past with this collection of team-approved chart hits. And public information. How are we looking? Hi, Mrs. Jenny. She's the floor manager. Hi, Susie. Hmm. That's Colin. He, um... Oh, that's her daughter. Yeah, I don't think Colin. Okay, Nicole, continue to work there, Colin. Mm. Uh, no, we don't believe in it. All right, can Mr. Next to Mum? Believe in what? Just days. No makeup. No makeup. Don't touch me. I wonder how much is actually going to be controlled by them now. Good evening. Oh, it's blue. Megan Wolf. And who is this? You might be wondering. Well, it's bring your daughter to work day here at Channel One. She looks so happy to be there. By my foster daughter, Stacey. Foster. Oh. All right then. Here are the stories that matter to you. Wait, why is there no timing? Confirming that the nuclear fallout from the 20 week war is to blame for the drop in birth rates across the territories, we asked you what keeps you going. Miniature houses keep me going. No, scarf makes me going. Oh, we can still put the disrupt in. They didn't mess with that. I've had plenty of time to fill, so I've started a new hobby. Since I started knitting, I barely remember that 85% of the country is sterile. My record is this scarf. It's 124 meters 85% is That's sterile? You. And if you've started a new hobby, do write in and tell us about it. Next up, you know how we love your uncanny, comestible coincidences. And I don't know about you, but I think this one really takes the biscuit. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm more impressed what by. What the frick Jesse. is that beer the supposed to look like? I can see the face on the toast, but that beer got nothing in it. I can't see what that looks like. Greg from Poddington has sent us this lovely photo of their breakfast, saying, I couldn't bring myself to eat my toast this morning because I could swear it bore the spitting image of the great Julia Salisbury's relatable face. So I had to make do with a plate of butter and two spoonfuls of jam. Oh. <laughs> do keep those coming in. Another go. Uh, we've just got time for one more of your stories, and this one is an inspiring story oh. of rehabilitation. Uh, that's it. Just tell us which song. Yeah, and then read it out. Okay. Um, 
So this one's from, from John in Stoke Leith. Before I was convicted, I'd never read a single book. But since I was released from Betterman, I haven't been able to stop. I'm even working at a library, and on our lunch break, Mr. Wordy Worth still checks my coffee. We absolutely love hearing the way our neighbours and team members have been able to... Yeah, she looks like she loves being there. new that's not channel one no I don't want to follow my government orders freedom of speech Bozeman they can't control me dang is, is the disrupt really gone for good no they can't be there's so many of them Oh, I actually don't have a choice. Got it. Of all the many duties I have as team leader, this is by far the most pleasant. As I so often say to you, the uneven path is now following the demise of the truck firmly behind us. Dude, piss off! You're so dictatorship. I hate her. They made her such a great actress because I actually despise this person. I am delighted to be joined here tonight by one of the older people in Territory 1. He was born a What's with the different territories, too? What is this, Divergent? Please give a warm team welcome to Alfie Pack Badger! Hmm, <laughs> he looks so cute. You must have seen so much in your lifetime. What have been some of the highlights? Before the advance. Choose my timing too. I can't even do it early. So, Alfie, what? You're 107 years old. Oh, so bloody remind me. Yeah. <laughs> like Sounds cute too. Well, where is everybody? Well, out there, in the dark. <laughs> well, bless him, it's not just the ears. Hmm. Who are you? Uh, Interesting. I'm Julia Salisbury, the Prime Minister. Oh, oh my gosh, that hate, I hate that. I hate that they clap. This is not like some sort of reality show, bro. So you're a, a, a you know, a woman. Uh, a woman. Uh, one, one, Women can do anything men can do these days, Alfie. Uh, that smile. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. But here we know we made our own to entertain out of coal and bones and bread. Well, that was fascinating. So they got me a pet, see? But it weren't a dog. They told me it were a dog. But it were a stone. A stone? Yeah. So I called it Pat. Which were a popular name for dogs back then. On account of the king having a patchy face. And I decided to introduce it to this little dirty symbol who lived up the road. Oh, how romantic. She threw my dog in the river. 
man. And that's the secret to your long life? Oh no, I've been married seven times. Divorce? Eight. There was a mix up in number three, you see. Yes, I was unlucky. <laughs> Are we going back to the old soon? Soon, Alfie. <laughs> First, let's turn to the reason we're all here. The Weekly Territory One Team Award. Weekly? Oh my gosh, they're just shoving this entire country into a game show to distract from all the stuff that they horribly caused. Sounds like a government I know. Oh, oopsie daisy. Forgot to count to ten. You got it, Alfie. She looks so happy to be there. <laughs> well done. That makes sense for everybody. Now, open your envelope and find out what you've won. <laughs> Don't hold back, Beth. She's stuck in the one of Peter's homemade apple cake. Got it. I won a holiday for two in Territory 15. It used to be called San Palmarino, didn't it? As I believe it did, yeah. Why couldn't we have stuck with that then? It's easier to remember. Ooh. Ooh. So I guess the nuclear war allowed them to own their nations and they renamed it? That's so screwed up. And I'm not blurring it either. You think I'm blur I'm blurring all that? No. No, 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 no. You deserve it. Wow. <laughs> Alfie, come on now, Alfie. When I was in the trenches, I had pal called Scotty Wilson. He was from way up north, so I didn't understand a bloody word he said. But he wormed that to me. Oh, probably for the best. <laughs> and his best was <laughs> Oh, at least they give the medals to each other. Okay, that's kind of cute, though. That's adorable. Oh, frick off! I was showing a cute moment! Enjoy the cute moments. <laughs> we love you, Alfie. We appreciate you and your stories. Thanks, Alfie. Great contribution. <laughs> so, Oso and Lavinia, a petting zoo. It's awfully not cool our well, but we discovered there were actually people who would never even own a pony. Patrick. So we decided to do something about it. Uh, that's the type of people we are, you see. Advantage of a private education, probably. Well, I'm sure we could say that all night, but there's no time. So, let's see what you've won. Yes, it's is fair to see. There's something in it. <laughs> Absolutely. Every citizen of the new future has my ear. Yeah, I'm sure. When it's hard to read the towel, I used to put the tail of our well and put the shirts off of our back. But quite literally, in my case, I used to collect them. Yes. Might as well have the rest of it, too. Oh. Sure again. Oh god, not again. I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. Pennies and the 
Hashtag free the nip. Free it. Oh. Oh. They're dead. She killed them. They killed them. I don't care if my score gets lower. This needs to be seen. They killed her. They literally will kill freaking anyone. I hate these people. I'm so upset. This this upsets me so much. I don't know even what to say. I don't have words for it. It's a kid. <laughs> that laugh is funny. Dude, he said you should be in a transition center. How awful is that? So unhappy with these guys.
What? Catchment area? What? As entries in the United Territories Anthem Slam. Anthem Slam? For a new song for the new future. Something that speaks from and to your hearts. D? You're giving me a D because I decided to show what was right? Okay. Okay, sure. Space opera. One, two, and five. So why not put on your imposing trousers, sharpen your music stick, and have a go? You can grab the friendly 31 page entry form at your nearest team offices. Advance, because a mighty movement requires a mighty melody. Eh. Welcome eh. That's how I feel about that. Oh, my freaking mic. Tonight is the world premiere of The Automated, starring Lawrence Blunderglatt and the late great Helena Canterbury Bochu. And all the stars are out tonight. We first covered this film almost five years ago, back when it was called The Medicated. Then, for mysterious reasons, the film was suddenly pulled the night before its release. Well, since then, executive producer George Focus has spent five long years polishing the film and turning it into a special edition and premiering tonight. With extensive state-of-the-art visual effects and a top-quality voice team, George says it's the movie he always wanted to make. Now, let's take a look at it. Oh, this movie. Oh! Got a little special effects. I remember this. I can't deconstruct it. Robux. I said Robux. Robux! Is this a wig? You think I don't grow that? You think I don't grow that? Whoa. Whoa. You. Think of Saturn. Something on your face, Chief Harrison! Whoa! Flesh and blood. Captain Quasar. The Judas ones in Sneros, baby. If only I'd noticed. Captain Quasar. You rusted, but I didn't notice. Captain. I'm buffering, see? You said? Got one on you. God damn it, lost it all! Here's a map. What's a map? Okay, so head north on Interstar Avenue, left at the asteroid belt. Uh, this is really weird. I'm not gonna lie. This corner. This is the key. Shut it down. Yes, yes, we could shut it down. But we have to ask ourselves, who are we? <laughs> oh, oh. Wow! Oh, what's this? We so we're finally actually gonna see this part. Good job, Stacy. They certainly were. Let's go over to Robin Short now in Western Square, who I believe has got the star of the show, Robin. Well, Megan, I'm joined by not one but both of the stars, Lawrence Blunderclatch and Helena Canterbury Bochu. Thank you so much. She died. You. Thanks to shows like yours, that Helena and I are even here. Don't you agree? Well, of course. Absolutely right, darling. <laughs> and uh, you two have both become absolutely she huge died. in the okay. past couple of years, haven't you? Okay. Even huger, yes, that's right. I feel very lucky, very, very lucky to be born, well, you know. And Helena is in massive demand too at the moment. She's still the face of a major cosmetic brand, 
And she's booked to do a one room here in the summer. Wow, it sounds like you're both very busy. But is there any chance we'll get to see you what? on screen again? No, no, I'm really not supposed to mention this, but we are doing a little something together. No. She's dead! I'm playing a weathered starship captain from another galaxy, and Helena is my droid companion. <laughs> but how does that work? I spend seven hours in makeup mode. No, um, how does Helena play a droid? Oh, we just pop her on a wing stick. Wow. 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 Well, Lawrence Blunderclatch and Helena Canton Highshoot, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah. Over to Patrick Bannon That's not Patrick Bannon. You killed Patrick Bannon. Can you see anytime soon? Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> what is this Lady Gaga look? What icon. It's Lil C. <laughs> and her father, <laughs> country singer and alien worshipper, Billy Bob Jean Shorts. <laughs> Billy Bob Jean Shorts. So, it looks like uh, Billy Cyrus <laughs> and, him, and Lady Gaga. Oh. Well, we love this look. Is it one of yours? No, you know it's not. We don't do that anymore. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Your clothing label went bankrupt, didn't it? <laughs> yes, because a certain TV show failed to fulfill their contractual obligations. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. I don't know what they're talking about. That wasn't me. Probably. Wellness brand. Ooh, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> Let her show you. This oh. is our new eyeshadow oh. palette. She calls this one Glance. Wow, it's scented. Glance, nice. Wow, that was a surprise. And this next one, this is our new lipstick. We call this shade Lips. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. Lips. It's organic. Mm. And this, and this salty? This is a body mist which rebalances your hormones <laughs> and actually smells like detergent. Oh, right. Yeah. <coughs> wow. You feel that? Yeah. Yes, that burns. Oh. All this is part of Lil C's uh. new range, straight from my veins. Oh, good lord. Breeze, Craglar. Uh, uh, so, um, you're retiring from the music industry. That must be hard. Well... She's way past her prime, Patrick. It was very hard for her to accept at first, <laughs> but the industry's very, very sure about these things. <laughs> well, you sure we can't convince you to release just one last album? We do actually have another album ready, but that's for the label to release in case she dies over the next 10 years or so. Oh. Wow. <laughs> well, given the way she's going, you might get it by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we better let you get back. The what they do to her? Now remember, Are they just like trying to fulfill that role they said about um? For parties, weddings, funerals, and bar mitzvahs. Well, thank you, Lil C. Lil C there. Are they just doing like the acting? Cause she like would say for face that um her dad was just controlling. And to be close is to be human. And to be human is to be a part. She, yep, yep, yep. That was good, write that down. That was good. Uh, write that one down. Yep, write it down, Rachel. It's Rach. good to see you've done so well for yourself. Thank you, my child. You know, I oh, I hate him. Oh, I, you know, I was fine with him, but now he said my child. No, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. Rubs the wrong way. Down. Nope. Jesus as Kanye as a Kanye is so funny. <laughs> yeah. But you're aware that elections have been suspended in the territories. No. Oh, elections are suspended in territories, so no one can vote for a different prime minister. Yeah, that's great. King of the moon. And he's king of the moon. Even better. You're running for king of the moon. No. Not running. Does this have anything to do with promoting your upcoming hip opera, Shade in Space? Hush now. You're looking so unreal. Ah, uh, okay. And how long will this last? Will it go the way I of last this. year's 
living as a mouse I want to go back to the politic drama. This is just such such a boring thing. Gosh, take me back to Mrs. Snugglepuff. So, are you looking forward to seeing the automator? No, I don't believe in film. Thou shalt keep thine image still and holy. That's chapter four of Jesus Christ made us Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. You're done. I'm done. Cut him off. Oh, oopsies! I'm gonna see if we can grab someone else to have a chat. Back to you. Thanks, Robin. But I think Stacy and I are probably in quite enough trouble where we are. So, big names there, Stacy. Yeah, big names. Any thoughts about them? Maybe from your generation's perspective? You won't like my opinion. Go on, try me. <laughs> well, Bumbalonk is so old he's like one week away from the transition centre, so who cares? And Lilty was cool when I was like 12 or something, but now she's just another fucking loony. And Jaza is a disrupt loving wanker who should have died with the rest of them three years ago. Mm. You're right. You agree with me? No, you're right. I don't like your opinion. But <laughs> we can go back to Patrick now, who has another familiar face to catch up with. Oh, Patrick, what's the atmosphere like there? It's absolutely buzzing here, Megan. The anticipation is killing us. But a little birdie's told us that any moment now, we should get a glimpse of someone incredibly popular with our viewers. A favorite destination for many of the fans. Yes, the mayor of Bumley will be arriving literally. The mayor of Bumley? Bum Bum Mayor? But as you can tell, the atmosphere. Ooh, they're really fighting! Something else. <laughs> Patrick Bannon, NNN. What's it been like since Bumley got so popular? And, 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 they did change it, change it. The, the tourism numbers have exploded thanks to the marketing campaign. Investors have plowed millions into the town. We've got more Bumleyan jobs, they've bought more Bumleyan homes. We're all very grateful. Of course, it's not all bums and roses. It's almost impossible to get a good look at the whole... I need, like, a snake I.O., like, right here. Or just a snake game. Just, just right here. And uh, how have you found public service? Well, to be frank with you, it's been the, the greatest honor of Flappy the Bird. The Doodle jump. So Give me any of it, please. From the, the banks of the graceful taint to the quiet elegance of the vomit. Are you talking about the taint cavern again? Are we still talking about the taint cavern? A privilege. A pleasure. A, a, a gift for the... I can't thank the mayor enough for all he's done. What? The mayor now. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> I love it. Such a prestigious office. I love it. And do you have any words for your new It's department? like the mayor, uh, the 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 freaking mayor, um, in a town where the golden retriever is considered the mayor. I love it. And his PA. A, a, a proclamation. Uh, uh, quickly, uh, uh, fetch a policy bag. A <laughs> proclamation is a duty? Yes, sir. We'll get it ratified at once. <laughs> there you have it, Megan. What an honor to literally see. I would have him as my mayor. I'm still in shock. Back to you at the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Patrick. What a colorful uh, interview there on what looks like an amazing night. They certainly know how to make an entrance. And the automated really does seem to have. Oh man, we're still going with this. Because despite Boris Horty in Hours magazine calling it Lawrence Blunderclatch's overly long suicide note, uh, in a review which ends with the words, and he hasn't even had the decency to see it through, the film, which is free to all residents of the territories, has seen record pre bookings and what? set to run for months and months. But let's go back to those lucky few seeing it tonight. Oh, I'm so jealous. Robin, have you seen anything unusual there? Thanks, Megan. Well, will you settle for the territory's most eligible bachelor? Five years ago, Steve Paxton was an unknown. Then a series of incredible performances in acclaimed productions from Hamlet's Jam to the curious rise of Algernon Ding Dong. Algernon Ding Dong? He's been voted sexiest man under 25 for successive years. Ooh. Now, 
Let's see what he looks like. Show us. Excuse me, Mr. Saxon. See, have you got a moment to spare to talk to the NNN? Oh, hi, the NNN. You know, your show gave me my first chance at an audience. Did we? Steve 1.0. I remember. Even then, everyone could see there was something so... I don't remember him. Was I supposed to remember him? The whole thing is burned into my mind. A moment is the very least I can give your amazing viewers in return. Yeah! <laughs> Are you going to introduce us to your day? Oh, but of course, this I'm is... I'm Charlotte Wynn Stanley Dash Hamilton. I'm oh. friendship too. You know, that scene you burned into your mind. I was in that. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Don't remember you at all. Are you sure you were in that? Yes, I was the pretty one. Tell her she is. Uh, looks are really important. Well, if you say so, Steve. Oh yeah, get, get them going. Get, get shaped up. So, uh, <laughs> I've been working with uh, an enfant terrible called Quentin's Upper Punch. Uh, we've been doing all the Shakespeare. This girl is trying so hard to get yeah, the attention, well, and I can't. Uh, I play all the oh, 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 so my hair. Oh, oh. Do head. I have something wrong with my neck? Oh, oh, yep. Boobies. Really good. <laughs> she can't stop moving. Yes, uh, well, he is. I'm in a variety of hats. It's uh, an old theatrical tradition. I had a single out. It was called Look at Me. Yeah. And you did that advert, didn't you, babe? Is that your dental floss? <laughs> <laughs> and the sex tape, of course. Steve! I don't like to think about that. Although apparently it's available for eleven ninety nine everywhere. Just ask your news agent. So, what is your favourite Shakespeare? Only fans at this time of age already? The wordy one. It's starting to see. I'm going to use the trailers. We haven't even got any popcorn yet. She'll be here. Who's she? I'm sorry, I wasn't paying close. Oh. Legendary first appearance. Really? Her too. <laughs> he was such a serious little thing. He had that horrible sister. Yes, that was me. I'm the horrible sister. Don't be so hard on yourself, babe. Looks are really important. Thanks. Oh, they got lines. <laughs> uh, what have you been up to, Harriet? Well, actually, uh, last year I was overseas bringing art to the starving children from outside the territory. They may not have food, but they can still have Comedia. <laughs> Good for you. Comedia? And uh, now I'm in an experimental physical theatre piece about the existential... Oh, I think I remember her. I think. I s her face looks familiar, but not these that other girl. The girl who got murdered in the bath in Night's Latter 3. Haven't seen it. But she was brilliant. Thank you. Fucking hilarious. Oh, hey, swore. I think it's starting soon and I really need a single. Oh my god, you need the moon now. We're going to see you miss the train if you were so selfish. Sorry. You've got to go. Oh, of course. Thank you so much for talking with us and enjoy the movie. Thanks. Love the NNN. I love you guys. <laughs> Not really much, sorry. Oh, my God, Megan. I, I can't believe that. Steve Saxon, Harriet Wynn Stanley Dash Hamilton, and someone else. Can't remember her name for the life of me. I'm too starstruck, if I'm honest. I think I've just come. Back to you, Megan. Oh, oops. See you and enjoy the movie. The automated opens in cinemas across the territories this weekend. Hey, Friendship so, was early on, on where they did the musical skit about yeah. bullying. Oh. Oh, I wish I remember. Oh, uh, well, the bullying. I seriously don't remember. I wish I remembered. I don't. Betterment the rehab center? Oh my gosh. Whoa, look at him. He's all drift out. They got so many people here. Of the new future. The 
Enemy soldier. I remember that song. I think I do at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so funny. That's what it says on my tattoo, so I guess I'm that. Why do they call you Chinny? Because of this ugly old thing. Oh, what? Uh, it's only messy, maybe. He's actually 58. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, I see. You're going to be a handful, are you, oh, boys? <laughs> and you must be TP. Hmm, what does TP stand for? <coughs> Dolly Pepper! <laughs> Whoa! It stands for TP. Oh, how long have you had that nickname? Ever since no one's inside a terrace corner, I've just been here to remember the fight back. No curl on it. Pre tease. Sorry about her. Not your fault. She's a loser. What? Oh my gosh, they make me feel so old. Team players with a Z. <laughs> so, how did that work then? Well, actually, Dale and I knew each other from school. We were actually classmates. And for fuck's sake, Nora, mate, give someone else a chance. We all went on team players. We all auditioned. The judges put us into bands. And um, yeah, we went to their houses and they put us into bands. It's an example of how we're greater than the sum of our parts when we work in harmony. And occasionally sing in unison. So every week on the show, we get these bands and uh, we give them a song that the producers have found from under the bin somewhere. Actually, I from. write the song. <laughs> and um, the public would phone in and decide which song they like best. Right, and then uh, the losers would be eliminated. No, no kids. So no kids. Band who get the most approval gets to play their song again. Sure. Uh, so what happens to the losers then? Mum. What? I guess there are no losers. We don't use the L word anymore. Really? Oh, would you please stop saying that? <laughs> what? That word is a pejorative. It's a word designed to diminish. At go getters, I learned very early that the only win when everybody. Oh my gosh, this kills me. That's not real life, is it? That's just sports ball. It kills me. It kills me. I'm dying. This interview has 10 minutes left and I'm already dying. Drinker. Can't be friends with drinkers. She's not what talking about. She doesn't understand. Uh, but I do understand, actually, Sophie. What's a shrinker? Wow, a, shrink, a shrinker. What's a pre tea, Mum? Pre team well, cards? Pre territory. Oh. oh. Stools, 
<laughs> Defend her! Heck yeah! Woo! Good mama! Good mama! What? Pop music is oh yes, I know I meant to mention this earlier. Apparently these newfangled boy bands change singers all the bloody time. Try and pull along, eh? Keep the shot on whoever is currently singing the lead vocal. Oh gosh. Ooh, it actually sounds good though. Like the vocals. I also love how they're singing into uh, <laughs> mics that have cut wires. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I kind of like this song. This song is actually good. Their songs are decent. Like, that song about the baby was a good hit, too.
time for final thoughts tonight. And I've actually asked Stacey to write a few and they're just being programmed onto the auto cue now. Uh, now I, I have no idea what she's going to say. <laughs> so fingers on that bleep button in the broadcast room just in case. Um, Rude. Take it away. My name is Stacey. I guess you know that by now. Don't know why I put that in there. Anyway. I don't watch the news. There's no need. You hear all the important stuff from your mates, so I don't know what's considered important anymore. But I'm pretty sure that it's not rehash news in a fucking boy band, so anyway. I'm gonna talk about what's important to me. When Advance were first elected, six years ago... <laughs> her face is just so done. <laughs> she looks so tired of her already. This was a state children's home. It was... It was fucking awful, actually. It was like a Charles Dickens book. The roof leaked and the walls were damp some mornings. Food was bad. Drugs and alcohol were everywhere. No one cared. We had to watch back all the time because there weren't enough staff to manage us. And yes, as you'd imagine, there was a lot of... Some bad stuff went down there with some of the staff. Okay. Not all of them, but the others knew, and they didn't stop it. Whoa. And then Advance won the election. And like a miracle, things started to change. They got better. Had nicer food. The home was not just repaired, but redecorated and kitted out with books and sports stuff and musical instruments and video games. Most of the staff were fired, and the new ones, which there were more of, spent time talking and working with the bullies. And you know what? A second miracle. It worked. The bullying stopped. Life, my life, got better. Because finally, there was enough money to do the good things, and Advance had the guts to do it. I joined go-getters, and on liberation night, that gave me a group of friends that I could talk with when the bombs went off and the power went out. Another miracle. I wasn't alone anymore. And that was the night I finally understood the importance of being in the team. This 15-year-old is about to change my entire mind about how I've been viewing this entire government. Long to go back. You say... We were freer, but what you mean is, we were richer. But for every one of you, there is a hundred of me. And even now, after all you've had taken away, you are still doing better than I am, than I likely ever will. You still have homes of your own and families of your own who love you. And I'll never have that. So maybe you should stop looking for the worst interpretation of everything this amazing government does and realize it's not for you. It's for the millions like me. And you can cry and bleed all you want, but you're never going to get your money back because it's already been spent on miracles. Dang. <gasps> Disrupt! Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, that was more than all right. Well done. Mm. I think you might have actually given them something to think about. No, yeah, I agree. That that changes a lot of perspective. Back to the home now, then. Um, I was thinking we could go out somewhere and, I don't know, have, have a meal, talk about our options. If that's okay. Oh. Security will be standing by. So they're always there then. There was a, a thing a few years ago, not now. Oh, did that Jeremy bloke? I heard about that. Everyone did. Did you hear that, Jay? Doesn't look old enough. She's driving on me. Yeah, she does that. Hmm. Aww! I really like Stacy. Hold on, Stacy was actually pretty cool. Alright, what's this little. For leisure. Lies, you got we're infertile as frick. No babies! As a community, a team, safe from the divorce.
divisive despots beyond our borders for whom cohesiveness is an alien concept. Every day, across these territories, neighbors support neighbors and friends reach out to friends, strengthening and protecting each other through cooperation, through unity, as one. Advice. Mm. Always. Dang. Ah, uh, that, that monologue that Stacy did, I'm not gonna lie, it changes my perspective a little bit, a little bit. I don't like how the over-abuse is happening with the government and all that still. Like, I don't know if that's worth it. Like, people's lives are being lost. Gosh, our wealth, we're still really, really poor. Dang. A lot of people are dying and they're blaming Disrupt. And dis Disrupt is still going up. So I just don't know. I just don't know. All right. Disrupt tax? Uh, oh, okay. All right, what do we what do we what do we got? What? Are we just like bouncing back into another one or is this just loading? So now we've experienced 3, 4 and 2 and we're still missing one. So obviously that means we have another day of Showtime! Here we go. Let's put our thinking caps on on this one. Or our reading caps, I should say. Holy cannoli! 2079. And up and come. Ooh, what is this music? We're really poor. Uh, you once again find yourself sitting inside Bozeman's office. Everything is pristine and orderly. Just how the fastest man likes it. That it, though it's a rare for him to be late, uh, the door opens behind you just as you start to imagine the reason why. Ah, Alex, thank you for waiting. It's been almost six years since you started working with us, Alex. A lot has happened in that time. From the unfortunate incident with Mr. Donaldson to the disrupt attack on this very building. He pauses to look at you. You meet his gaze. Yeah. Lots happen. And in that time, you've done some good work. Not to mention, I've heard some good things around the office as well. So I'm happy to inform you that I've approved a small raise in recognition. Recognition, yay. Uh, thank you, sir. Not at all. You've earned it. But that's not an excuse to rest your rest on your laurels. I'm sure you've got work to be getting back to. And with that, he turns to some papers on his desk clearly considering you dismissed. You head back to your studio, a spring in your step. It's nice to get some recognition. That is true. Bozeman doesn't really, like, you know, say much to us. Okay, nearly a whole year almost goes by. Great, like 10 months went by. A foregone conclusion. Okay. Dude, it just speeds it up. And what'd you say, day 6,000? No, 3,000 you said, right? I think you said 3,000. Yeah, 3,000 something days. Uh. Hello? Ah, oh, it's Christmas time again. Man, we're broke. It's late. It's been snowing all day. And unlike everybody else, you've stayed inside as much as possible, keeping warm. Normally you enjoy the snow, but today is nothing more but it, than an irritant. Still, tomorrow you got the day off and might actually be able to enjoy it. I don't know how. We can't afford anything. Sam always gets excited when they see the snow. When they were younger, they'd always wrap the kids up and take them out to play in it. It's been a while since that's happened, though. Something about the warm fire and dark nights always makes you feel nostalgic at this time of year. The sound of the front door opening startles you out of your thoughts. Hey, I'm back, Sam calls before coming to find you in the living room. Oh, there's a fire going. It's lovely and cozy in here. They come and sit by you, leaning their head on your shoulder. Welcome home. How's your day? Sam sighs. Oh, you know, the usual. Spent the morning volunteering at the menu center, making myself useful. They'd picked the up they picked up the position while unemployed, and I kept it going. Then in the afternoon I went to see some friends from the old job. They're thinking of moving again, so we're looking at new places. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I'm good. Glad I've not got to work in that weather. Yeah, that'll be awful. Well, tomorrow let's make a day of it. 
go for a walk. Maybe I'll even drag you up the top of the hill with a sled and we can race like the old days. I don't know. We're getting a bit old. You start to object, but Sam cuts you off. Oh, you're only saying that because you know I'll win. They give you a wink and a kiss before getting up and going to the kitchen, calling back over their shoulder. Loser pays for the cocoa! You're very lucky to have Sam. Sam is such a little sun in the in the cloudy in the clouds. She is so nice. Well, they they keep saying they because I guess like you know different player and all that. I love Sam. Time for reflection. Can we get like a winter bonus or something? We need like at least a little bit of security. Also, how's our mom? Oh, this is about dad. This is about dad. I literally thought this was about mom. It's been over 13 years since your dad died. You visited his grave a few times since then. Normally during times of stress. Or when you're trying to figure something out. Or when you just want some peace and quiet. Today is no different. You feel Sam's hand on your shoulder. Giving you a reassuring squeeze. You're grateful that they're still here with you. Just having them by your side always seems to make things easier. I wonder if, if like, we've done stuff against Sam, if they would divorce us. I feel like this co that could have been a possibility. The call of a raven catches your attention as it flies away. Charlie was only eight when his grandfather died. He didn't really appreciate how big the loss was at the time. But as he got older, you did your best to pass on what your dad taught you. But now he, he's all grown up. He's actually starting to teach you. Which is strange, but in the nicest way. You're proud of the man he's grown. You're proud of the man he's now become. Susie, despite everything she's been through, is still a rock for the rest of you. She'll be a great mother to the twins. They couldn't have found a more loving home. There have been a lot of arguments over the years, but you wouldn't change a thing. You're still amazed at how far your daughter has come. She got twins? She adopted? She's one of the best things in your life. Your relationship with Chris has always been a bit up and down, but of late, you seem to actually be getting along. It's It makes a nice change, and has certainly made life easier with Sam. But that's family. You've got to take the good with the bad. She may be an albeit expensive care home now, but it's still comforting to know your mother is around. Good. Even if she barely recognizes you anymore. Her presence is always reassuring. You could do with that now. You turn away and wander in the direction of the car. You can't control life, what happens, who lives and who dies. All you can do is keep going and see what gets thrown at you next. What is life if not a series of little decisions that define us? And we'll never know which ones would take us one way and which would bring us here. Yeah, that whole recollection thing. I wonder if it was like all those changes. Bring the whole Winston family to the new future and beyond. That's what the achievement's called? Oh. In the playthrough, I watched the good ending. Jeremy lived and Charlie died? Oh, <gasps> Charlie died? See, I was wondering if something was going to happen to the son because he's the only one that's, like, against it. Oh, man. So I definitely messed up somewhere. Maybe I didn't side with Disrupt enough. The finale? I'm not ready. Hold on. Seven years since the election. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try and get through this last one, Alex. For old time's sake. I know advance have allowed your equipment to fall into disrepair. It's all gone wrong since they took over. Not that the alternative was any better. Those dangerous bloody psychopaths and disrupt. Still, the show must go on. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this the last episode? Holy cow, I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to save that for Friday. Friday or Thursday. I'm going to save that for Friday or Thursday. That's crazy. We're so close. And I probably got the bad ending because you just said that the good ending is the other way around. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I wanted Jeremy to live. If 
I'm gonna be honest, I could have done off with Charlie. <laughs> Sounds awful, but Charlie is not nice. Um, so I guess I'll end it here. Guys, this is such a beautiful stream. Got to reconnect with so many of you. Medusa, I appreciate you here. Amanda, I appreciate you here. Well, what, who did we see? We saw Medusa, and Amanda, we saw Corey, we saw Anna. Beautiful people. I love when you guys come around and support me and just talk to me and hang out with me. It's super, super nice. Um, I'm going to stream tomorrow as soon as possible. I'm not going to set a time in that because I don't know when I'll wake up. My sleep schedule is a bit wonky. So right when I wake up, I'm probably going to be getting ready. Um, getting some snacks or something and we are going to do a Disney Dream My Valley stream and it's all going to be dedicated to update 9 which is going to be super super fun um, but once again thank you guys so much for being here it's so nice to talk to you guys and hang out with you and yeah you guys always make the night better truly <laughs> it's so nice to have you guys around I will see you guys tomorrow um and I hope if you guys are going to be playing the update, you guys enjoy it as well. Alright? I'll see you guys later. Love you guys so much. Have a beautiful night.